Hello? Discord report as well. Hello, we're uh -huh. messing with Hello. the audio. I mean, I could just get close to my there mic. There you go, that's better. There you go. Wait, what? Yeah, I just didn't have all I'm, I'm audio checking everyone. Oh, one, two, why? three, one, two, you know, three, The one, thing two, that you three, asked three, us one, to do for two, sessions. Three. <laughs> You're giving oh, yeah, me so you're sass already, Ethan? Is that, is that what's happening yes, right now, dude? Yes, I am. You're giving me sass, bro? It's not my fault. I'm going to get eaten by a giant toad, Bubba. You know what? For what? once, my mic was in the correct place. Yeah. So I ain't going to take that shit. Well, you kind of just did. That's still a 75% like loss ratio, though, to be fair. Uh, anyway, you know um, hey, everybody. Hey chat, early gang. We got we got Shatter, we got Sassy, we got Natty, we got we got Carly. Who else we have? Who else we have? Who else we have? Vincent. Uh a bunch of gamers. Bunch of absolute Joe? fucking gamers. Joe's Joe, here? Joe's not here. No. Unfortunate. Uh OSG and Soko, thanks for the two months, dude. Pog. Two months. Sub the dungeon select. What a little bunch of gamers. Yo, September, guys. Just throwing it out there. 20% of gift subs. Smile. Um Let's dude, the hype train close? Dude, anyone? Anyone? Yo. <laughs> Hoggers Express, dude? Oh, <laughs> fuck. Just to quickly preface today's session, I had battle maps and stuff prepared, but uh, something fucked it and the files are dead and I didn't have time to quickly remake them because I discovered that they were fucked literally like an hour before session. So, rip. Ethan, thanks for two months as well, buddy. It's um, all good. That's a big rip, so no battle maps today, but uh, it's not my fault, I swear. Um, fine, we'll just talk our way out of combat. We just blame Ethan, it's fine. Sleep our way out of me, combat. Guys. Talk our way I'm out of combat. I was supposed to make the battle maps, and I didn't. Kiss our way out of combat? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, if Gen was still here. <laughs> True. Need to get um, something else to kiss. So. Hope everyone is doing well. It is session four. We're, uh, we're a month into this campaign two thing, pretty much. Uh, and... Uh, it's pretty pog, dude. Pretty pog, not gonna lie. I'm back. Soko is back. Soko's we back. We were down to Soko last week, but he's here, and then he's Just gonna be gone me. again for two weeks. So please, yep. uh, you know, don't make the most of him. Make the most of him. Jax is gonna get lost in the jungle for two days. Cool. For two. <laughs> two days, two weeks. Two years. Yes, so two uh, days in two years. Time. Two days yeah. in campaign. Yeah. Um. So before we get started, I'm a little um. Hung over today, guys. I'm a little slower than usual, and you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, this past Thursday, we did Dungeon Discords. We had Duke and Koiba on, and it was a great fucking time. Talked about their character creation, their session zero, answered questions from chat, and submitted to the subreddit. Very fucking cool. Um, that was a good time. It is up on YouTube now as well, so if you want to watch that back, um, you can. Tomorrow, It was we'll good. We'll be back for uh, Baldur's Gate 3, me, Ethan, and Duke. So check that out. Uh, as far as Dungeons Discourse goes, uh, next week, uh, I'm not sure who's going to be on yet. That kind of depends on what happens this session, and then we'll, we'll see from there. Um, any announcements? Follow us on Twitter. Join the subreddit. Sub to the YouTube, please. Thank you. Yeah. Sponsor us. Smile. <laughs> Smile. Um, look at the word anvil. Also, look at the world anvil. Yeah, true. Yesterday, the channel was live. And there was yeah. someone DMing that wasn't me for once, which uh, or Ethan, because Ethan has DM'd on the channel in the past as well. Yeah. Uh, it was Laura. You want to tell us a little bit about how that went and your first DM experience? I'm kind of curious a little bit. Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I, it's funny. At the beginning, I was so like nervous, and once it started, I got really like not nervous really quickly, Wait, hold on. which was really nice. Off. I don't want to cut you off with Bell. Could you like? Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you, Belle. Um, we yeah, had the beginning, and once it got going, I was like, okay. And then I realized, oh, I've read this like three times, and I've still already forgotten some important things I was supposed to say. And it still seemed fine. Basically, all the moments that I was freaking out about when talking after seemed like none of the players could tell, and that's what mattered. So, yeah. uh, and I had the first thing of, oh, shit, I've said something that's leading them in one direction, and the dice are now helping them go in that direction. But the one shot, they're not supposed to go there. And I had to have fun figuring that out. But we did it. And it was good. Oh, yeah. It was a good time. Um, half of being a DM is just having a really good poker face, dude. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm very proud of you. As, a, as, a, as your forever DM, it, it's, it's very good to see people 
giving DMing a try, especially if it's the first time. On stream, ballsy move. I appreciate it. I respect it. And uh, The to my motivation world. for doing it on stream was because, like, this has been a plan for ages, and it was because we were still weren't sure if the channel would have been affiliated, and it was just to help get those unique, like, broadcast days. Obviously, at this point, that wasn't an issue anymore, but we'd still been talking about it, and I was like, well, we're still gonna do it. Also, yeah. since it was, like, an LGBT-themed one-shot, and we see lots of Lots of talk all the time about helping with representation in the TTRPG space. So I was like, well, then this is also our Actually, chance to I had do a, that. Um, some like some like back and forth tweets uh, with the um, the the writer of the yeah, one shots, which, is very, which is very cool. She followed us on Twitter. Pog. Nice. Um, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. Pog. I haven't watched it yet because uh, I haven't had the time. But it is on my. Uh, Watch list. Well, and it's, check it out it's five hours long. So. I saw. I was making the highlights to send it to Bell. I was like, oh, five and a half hours. So Jesus. The fuck? Yeah, because it says it's a two to three hour adventure. I know it's always going to go longer, so I planned for four. But then my party, when there's a thing where it's like, hey, you have an objective to achieve. Here's three choices of how to do it. They just went, what if we did all three, even though we don't have to? <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I even tried to make it to faster and expedite it. And I broke some rules of the one, like of the text in the one shot, because I know we're now going to take forever. And it's still, even with me trying to be like, <laughs> without making it obvious, here's all the ways I'm going to try and make this faster. And it still was, it took time, but it's nice. time. Nice. Hell time. yeah. But uh, that's awesome. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. And uh, hey, perhaps we'll see Laura DM some more in the future. Maybe, who knows? Uh, we'll see. Well, I think I also get a one shot with, uh, again, from Kickstarter, the dice I have, the, the Perihedral's one, I think also mm -hmm. came with a one shot whenever oh. that gets delivered. So I'll have that as well. There you go. Uh, anyone have any announcements I'll just before give we you... get started? <laughs> no. I'm going back to London next week, so I'll have all my audio and stuff again. Fuck back yeah. up. Yay. And your I dice. I found a pen. I'm so going to go find a pen I real quick. My, dice. Dude, I, dude, my pen's gone as well. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't find pen. I took all your pens. I my pen's all. still here, so. Uh, I have any loads of pens. Anyone else? I'm once? tired. Twice. Sorry, I'm um, going to yawn. I'm three. I'm sleepy. That is all. Fair enough. That's what energy also, drink is for. I also went out drinking last night. So New world in I'm not years. head hungover, but man, my stomach has been fucking awful all day and <laughs> work as well. And I was there at work, I was there like, oh! <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to fucking pass the fuck out after D&D tonight. I'm going to go straight to roll into bed and just, ugh. Um, fuck this, okay. I'm bed. So last week, the party investigated and discovered uh, the involvement of um, a man named Jeremiah in the plot or potentially the one to pull the trigger of the crossbow um, in the attempt to assassinate the Imperial Emissary, figured out where he lived, checked out his residence, uh, had a little encounter with a snake pit uh, trap but found hints and evidence that uh, looked pretty damning towards this uh, individual. And you traveled to the jungle just north of Eldilon after finding a map and a note that said um, that Jeremiah had found the temple that his um, family, his, his ancestors used to uh, live in and around. Getting some supplies from the city. Popping a, an elixir to have you be immune to all kinds of jungle diseases uh, for a, a period of time. <coughs> We've all played those games, whatever, the like cruise or trail. We all know about typhoid and shit. We're not going to get jungle fever, baby. <laughs> not for us. Um, not for a day. <laughs> and we left, we, we we're going to pick it up there as you just now enter the thicket, the jungle. And quickly grab my notes. Um, who was leading? Uh, I'm assuming Davian was leading because this is kind of this is his this is his thing, right? Yes, sir. If he's not, we're all judging all right. him really hard. Yeah. You have a heading. What I'm going to need you to do uh, is uh, an intelligence check, please. Wait, Davian. hold. <laughs> intelligence. This one, Fight. yes, intelligence. Okay, hold on. While well, I realize that I don't have my character sheet open. Very nice. <laughs> Intelligent. Are yes. you sure about that? Yes. 
Confident. Confident? Mm -hmm. Could it not be wisdom smart? Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help the man. Just like, there, you know, there's a, there's a difference. Intelligence. <laughs> You're this close you to falling jungle. rocks from the sky. Intelligence even that bad. Okay. Ten. Ten, gonna fall Ten? The head. Ten, Ten was the DC. See, you're worried for nothing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, I found my pen, by the way. It's under my dice tray. Nice. Hey. Now I have two. With that in mind, um, you kind of keep track of the position of the sun while you venture into the thickets with no more access, really, to seeing where the sun is. And with that, you determine the direction in which you have to head. Which is why it was intelligence. Smile. Mm -hmm. um, now, you travel. You venture forth, passing through these, these this, this overall humid, warm, and the air feels a little heavy for some reason. It's it's a at times a little a little harder to breathe than it would be uh, when, than it was back in the city, or even on your way up to the jungle. About an hour into your travel. Uh, roll me a survival check, uh, Davian. Uh, 19. 19, very good. You kind of keep track of your surroundings and keep in mind where you, like, that you're not, like, straying off the path that you in your head set direction-wise. Um, you keep going. Kind of avoiding the, the more dangerous-looking paths you could have taken and kind of finding a way that, that makes it as easy as possible for your party to uh, travel through the jungle, which gets denser and denser the further in you travel. Um, this is a couple hours into your journey. You suddenly start hearing... As above you, there's this, this group of baboons just starting to howl at you, uh, making a lot of noise, making a lot of, a lot of rackets. And suddenly, as you kind of all come to a, to a standstill... I cast Mage Armor. You cast Mage Armor? Yeah. Okay. As these baboons now dip... And through just pushing trees aside comes this giant ape, super tall. Oh, good. Just comes 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 running into to, into the direction of the noise that the baboons made, and just sees you all, and immediately just. <laughs> I would would you like you all to roll initiative, please? Oh, oh it's, mm, boy. okay. Okay. Ah, I'm rolling dice. Time to reject Table. dice. Return to baboon. Dead. You just what? We just run. No, I mean, you can try, but it, it, there is an We issue can all try on, so. on our initiative order. That, that to does run. sound like uh, the, the, the jack response. Holy moly, I rolled like hot garbage. I rolled great. Oh, I bet you rolled better than me, Laura. I'm going to nope. miss every attack. I'll put money that you rolled better um, than me. There we go. So, initiative uh, 20 plus. Natural 20. Okay. 23, natural 20. Oh, oh, oh 23, wow. natural 20 as well. <laughs> roll off? Fuck it, roll off. Oh. Two plus three, eight. so five. Eight <laughs> plus three. So a Lazarin, and then comes. I, because Brooks. of how my how the eight was on my dice, I thought I rolled three. So it's like, oh my god. <laughs> Anyone <laughs> else uh, with the twenty plus? <laughs> no. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. Twenty-two. Nineteen. There we go. Uh, Davian. Okay, nineteen. Ten to fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Rakes. Five to ten? Five. Five? How did you roll, Soko? Zero. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't wait for you to Jack just doesn't get to do anything this combat. I can't wait for you to roll the negative one on the initiative. It's because his dice don't realize that he's actually back. They still think he needs to play like he's not here. So they're like, zero <laughs> initiative, can't go. Easy. Don't pass starts. Don't. Yes, like we're not here. Just don't the collect bushes, 200 dude. He gold. Wanna... Exactly. Okay. Can we make D and D monopoly? Oh. Get my notes here. I'll be right All right. So, the Lazarin, as this giant ape mm. bangs on his chest, it is uh, your turn first. What do you wish that to is do? Unfortunate that I'm going first. Yeah. I am. 
big ape. <laughs> Giant ape, actually. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna have HP. <laughs> I'm. It's gonna, gonna have HP. <laughs> yeah. And this this uh, how this like giant it's it's basically a silverback gorilla right 15 foot tall it's Ooh. Gurjack from Tarzan it's huge I'm gonna cast bless okay. and I'm gonna do uh Davian uh Kess and Brooks okay. we get you get an extra d4 to all attack rolls and saving throws before the spell ends. Nice. There you go. And I just concentrate on it. And then yep. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move back up a little bit. Okay. Like, just so I'm not in the fucking fray of this thing. But apart from that, that's all I'm gonna do. Mm. I done more. Thinking sounds. Literally. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Turn over. Next person go. Hello. All right. Hello. Brooks. Unless monkey. No monkey. Okay. Um. Return to monkey. Return to monkey. How far away are they all again? Are they like it's grouped it, together or? Huh? They? Who's they? No, it's just one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a giant, like, 15 foot tall gorilla. I thought the baboons had jumped in as well. No, they fucked off as soon as... Alright, well, fucking... Fuck they are scared of the big They're monkey. smart. How far away is it, Dad? Uh, it came basically bursting through a line of trees uh, that now just don't, don't exist anymore, and it is about 20 feet away from you. It is very close, like, immediately, just okay. ready to go. Bonus action rage, I'ma run forward and hit it Go with it. my hand axe. Uh do, 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 20, two, three, 23? Yes. Okay. Wrong dice, because I'm an Edort. That's I've a shit spoken roll. to snakes since the last long rest, haven't I? Yes. Mm, yep. Yes. That's a whole last spell slot. Yep. <laughs> uh, of my two. Seven points of slashing damage. I'm going to try and go for it. Yes. Uh, seven points of slashing damage? Yeah. Very nice. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's bonus action action. All righty. I'm going to stand there and look scary. So you run up and uh, just like, slash at... Are Thals Brooks again? 6-2, baby. 6-2. So you are about a third of its size, so you get to, like, <laughs> you know, you get to, like, a thighs. Like, j like, like just, oh, j Ooh. like, that's, like, your entire body in height. So you just got a slash at its, at no. its, at its leg. Um, six foot, sorry, not 6-2. As, as, as you, as you, like, take a, take a whack at it, he kind of instinctively and out of, like, reflex kind of tries to kick you away, but uh, you manage to just, like, dodge that. Fuck, um, monkey. Davian. Hunter's Mark. Mm. Shoot with bow. Hell yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, 26 to hit, I think. Yeah. 20, yeah, 26 to hit. That'll do it. And it'll... nine points of damage. Nine points of damage? Very good. Yeah. Straight in the pectoral. Nice. Anything else? Or is that your turn? Um, I'm gonna. I mean, it's 20 feet from us. I'm getting mm -hmm. back. Okay. I'm getting back like my full movement, 30 feet. All right. Fair enough. Into the shrubbery. Hopefully, not disturbing baboons. Um, Kess. Okay. I'm gonna. Spell it as my bonus action, and then I'll just You mic is cutting out a little bit here and there. But... Oh, God, I can't wait till I have my mic back. <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna cast hex on it, and then Eldritch Blast. Okay, go for it. What um uh, skill do you want this ape to now have disadvantage on skill checks? 
That's part of Hex. It's very useless in combat, but it is a part of Hex. I <laughs> could do strength. Am I allowed to give? Yeah, I was going to say I would say strength you. just in case it tries to grab I anyone. Table talk as long as it's not like in role yeah. play. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Strength, yeah. Strength would be good That's just because it might try grapple people. If right? it tries to yeah. grapple anyone, it's going to struggle. Strength. Right. Okay. Uh, Roy, your attack for your Eldritch Blast. And I get a d4, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, because yeah. blessed. True. True. 14, 19 to hit. That hits. Ooh. I hope the same thing profited. Shit. Uh, nine damage. How much? Uh, four, nine, nine. nine force damage. Nine force damage? Beautiful. And then. Beautiful. Ooh. Six and a Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You're the one that, that has yeah, the answer yeah. here. Yeah. Roll. Cool. I played a different character in between the weeks, so. So six points yeah. of product damage? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yesterday she was a rogue, so. Oh, God. Gross. All right. Good. Very good. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. It is now the ape's turn, and... I feel like uh, Kess's turn is the same as mine, but just with the, yeah, the skill check much. disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, this giant ape, after being kind of just eldritch blasted in the chest, an arrow right in the, in the pectoral, and this annoying barbarian monk just whacking at his leg with one of his hand axes, um, <laughs> bangs his chest, and then... Hmm, is going to attempt to pick you up, Brooks. <laughs> uh, I would like for you to roll against the grapple check, but with disadvantage, because you are like his hand is like the size of you. Then they both have disadvantage, uh, right? Hey. Yep. What, what am I rolling, sir? Uh, just a, a, a grapple, uh, like a defending against a grapple with disadvantage. Uh, so I can do it as a. Uh, yeah, true. So strength or dex? Acrobatics, acrobatics or athletics, whichever one okay. is better. Okay, I'm going to do it as athletics because then I should get advantage, right? Because I'm raging. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Which then cancels yes. out the disadvantage, That's, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's all strength. Yeah. Wait, was was uh Brooks blessed? No, right. Uh, yes. Brooks blessed. Oh, it's it's saving, yes. saving, it's saving throws, right? It's saving yeah. throws. Yeah, this is a good check. Brooks, and Kiss. I'm just double checking the ruling on it. Yeah, okay. So that would cancel that and I'm blessed. So just no, you don't get blessed. You ain't get Oh no, I don't. Because it's the saving throw. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, it's a straight roll. Uh, uh, dirty 20. I still lose. I guess. 21. <laughs> Fuck oh. you. Oh. <laughs> I would like Damn. to use my reaction to shit on the DM's plans. Um, <laughs> he picks you up and sees blue lady that shot some beam oh, of magic. He's gonna eat you. And is going to throw you at Kesslin. <laughs> just, it's just going to oh. destroy him. Oh. Um, oh my god. Which is technically just like a ranged, like an improvised weapon, but ranged attack. Because you are the weapon in this case, Brooks. While you roll that, <laughs> absolutely imagine, fucking a imagine, weapon. Imagine for a moment before you do damage. If in future we just pull a copy critical roll, someone can enlarge me, and then I can do the deflect missiles and catch things. If I grew to a size big enough that I could then catch Brooks as the projectile <laughs> with my monk. <laughs> um, this will help really me out here. To hit, Kes? <laughs> yes. This lady's really out here casting Eldritch Blast, getting hit with a fucking no. suited dickhead. 18 to hit that hits Kess. Uh, you both, in this case, take um, Yikes. seven points of bludgeoning damage as, oh, as Brooks just, Im just impacting with Kesslin damages you both, and you both kind of just brush yourself off. But um, yeah. And again, as soon as he, he throws you, he just. And just. Get out of my face. Is ready to do to do more, uh, but that is, is it his bad? turn. I just want to like the monkey. Daigon, <laughs> it is your turn. What do you do? Uh, he he hurt friend. I'm he mad. Friend. I'm gonna take as an action. Take my my spear off my back and pull a vial of poison out of my bag and use my action to coat 
one end of the spear because it's dual ended with poison. All right. Uh, and then how far is Monkey again? In 20 feet? feet. 20 feet. Fine. All right. And then I want to run up to him and do my bonus action unarmed strike. But how I want to do it is like as I'm running, as I get close, I do the thing I did before I plant the end of the spear in the ground that doesn't have poison and use it almost like a pole to then swing around and do a kick to the side. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Ooh, that's good. Um, That is. A natural 17 plus five. five yeah, that hits. So 22. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so he takes six points of bludgeoning damage. Cause it was six points bludgeoning damage? Yes. Alrighty. And I'm now near him with a spear, chilling in front of him. Cool, cool, cool. Is that your turn? Yep, because I used my movement bonus and my action. All right. Jax. You know, I think this monkey's probably pretty constitution heavy. Just, uh, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> just hot. So I, guess I don't I'm know. Gonna, I'm going to run up to it and hit it with my mace. Go for it. Roll attack. Uh, two. Oh, four, actually. <laughs> four to hit? Four to hit. Doesn't hit him, unfortunately. <laughs> Old man, he and just the monkey I'm gonna cry. and like taps it. All right, it's turn. I can't, I can't wait for Davin to rip enough, into you for this. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, so cool. I, I'm sorry to, to pace the combat. I'm so useless gone. at it level two. It is just two. so fun, and we talked about it during the, the, the discourse. It is so much fun to see you, for once, play a combat inefficient class or like character. Yeah. Like, it's just right now. Holy Give me level shit. three, please. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I swear this hasn't happened to me. I swear this never happened before. It's never happened to me before. Yeah, Just leave me alone. Holy shit. Um, Elazrin, it is your turn again. How how <laughs> damaged is Monkey looking? Is he still looking pretty healthy? He's looking or... pretty healthy, yeah. He's, he's living his best life. Hmm. I will... What do I want to fucking do? I don't know. Mm-hmm. At least you have options. Do I? I? Do I? Yeah, I think I'm just going to secret. Mm, do I? But I could do so much more. <laughs> so much more. Sound so like much more. And Sound it's like not me fair. Yesterday, trying to figure out what these what creatures were gonna do. I'm like, should I do this? I could do this. Oh wait, what's I that? will sacred flame. Dicks off. Fifteen. Oh, what's the fucking point of doing this? DC. Yeah, it's fucking. You know, DC's fourteen. I'm gonna oh. cry myself to sleep. I'm right. I'm sorry. I don't enjoy this. I God. Do. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. Lie. You do fucking... enjoy this. I do. <laughs> how how injured did Kesson uh, uh, fucking Brooks. Brooks look? I am not bloodied. Yeah. Kesson, are you bloodied or are you just like vibing? I'm bloodied a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. No longer the tanky health pool. Um, is... Brooks. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna. Like you you kind of like at the start of your <laughs> turn. You have that like awkward like exchange of looks with with Kesslin, like just that sort of look as we're both laying. Please like... tell me we had that moment where you landed comedically. Your face is like in her boobs or something, and I was like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I thought you were gonna be comedically like like faces close to each other, not like full on in her chest. No, he's there. He's there. Like lands. Like what's this soft thing? I'm hot. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right. anyway, just not making you change anyway. an awkward look with with Kesslin as you suddenly just got used as a weapon against her and are now uh, right next to her. What do you do? I'm just gonna look at her and be like, "Sorry," and then I'm gonna get up and run at the fucking monkey. Sounds good. Uh, so I'm gonna make my first attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, do 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 do. Sixteen. To hit. That hits. Cool. I mean, he's a uh, giant fucking monkey. Like, he's, so that's 10 he's points on the first one. Thanks. Sorry? So 10, point, 10 points of slashing damage on the first one. Oh, okay. And then... Damn. That's even fucking worse. Holy shit. 10. 10 to hit? Yeah. Doesn't he hit, unfortunately. Okay. Fuck this monkey. 
Uh, you could try. It's not my um, type. No? No. Not hairy enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Davian. I shoot. You shoot. Oh, mm, well, plus 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Where the fuck did my D8 go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Your date? Ugh, shitty damage rolls. Eight points of piercing damage. Eight points of piercing damage. Is that including the... um? Yeah, I got a three and a two. Mm, unfortunate. Mm. All right, fair enough. Um, anything else you want to do with the turn before it's uh, it's over? Um, uh, fucking no. <laughs> Fair enough. No. Yes. Uh, I'll get up, I guess, and then <laughs> Eldritch blast him. Go for it. Let's fuck that guy in particular. Oh my god, why is it taking so long to roll? Ah, natural one! Uh -oh. <laughs> I hope she meant the, you the monkey and not kind of brush yourself off from just having a literal person thrown at you. And you, you kind of get up and try to cast Elder's Blast, and for some reason, you, your head is not quite there, and it, like a small roll beam dazed. does... Where do you cast Elder's Blast from? Like, does it just shoot out of the palm of your hand, or like, how, did you, how do you flavor it again? Uh, Have you ever been... I, she kind of tends to like hold out her necklace. And then oh, it right. comes from and that. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So like a little a little beam of like this purplish yellow energy just does leave the, the necklace, but kind of like dissipates and it's it's not quite uh not He's quite there. Far too flustered from having Brooks thrown at her face. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. It is now the ape uh the ape's turn. Um Daigon and Brooks, you're both in melee, correct? Yes. I am as well. Oh, you are as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to have to roll. I mean, I'm not... I No, I'm... You know, I'm kind of, like, not there. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, he's going to multi-attack and with one fist slam down to Daigon and the other fist to Jax. Lit. Of course. Lit. So Daigon ah, is guys. a... Ooh, natural 17 plus 6, so 23 yeah, to hit. Yeah. God, it yeah, doesn't yeah. mean. Jax... Oh, that's funny, he's about to hit you is uh only an eight to hit that does not hit so he misses Jax, but does just slam down on top of daigon i almost expected eight to hit for some um <laughs> you take Close. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, that's max like damage that. that's max damage like that. uh you take 14 want. points of bludgeoning damage as this Holy giant shit. fist just <laughs> hello just flattens you <laughs> Some Four ribs be broken right now. I mean, that was That's max. The 14 sure. was max damage. So that was, yeah. Yo, oh. nice. Do you want to give me max damage anytime soon? Um, <laughs> oh. That is his turn. Daigon. It Unless is your turn he crits. Now. All right. Well, I'm mad. And so now I'm going to just try and shove the poisoned end of the spear mm. into his leg. Go for it. Smart. Uh, I rolled off the thing. But it's a landing flat. Uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Hell yeah. Okay, so the spear... Again, 15 just... foot tall ape. Not, yeah. hard, to, not, not hard to hit. Oh, <laughs> I rolled a fucking one on my d8 for damage. That's unfortunate. So there's four points of piercing damage just from the spear. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the poison, he has to make a constitution save. Uh, only a seven. He fails! So, he's now gonna take three points of poison damage. Okay. And... Yeah. That's... I, I think it's only in that one. It doesn't say he's... He doesn't have the poisoned condition. No, if you have, like, so the base poison that the, you coach your weapons yeah, with, it's yeah. just for some extra damage. That's it. Yeah, it's the base. Okay. Well, then, yeah. All right. Jack. Lame. After Wait, I'm barely... not done yet. Oh, you're not done? Sorry. I'm not done. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, she can do more than one thing. I'm like, I'm mad. Cool. So the spear, one one hand, Monk I'm shit. kind of like holding my rib cage because that fucking hurt and I'm something's mm. broken, but I'm still up. And then I'm going to spend a key point because now I'm worried I'm still very close and he could squish me. Uh, we're going to do flurry of blows and do a uh, high kick, low kick combo oh. is the intent. Okay. First one is a 20 dirty 20 to hit yes second is a 14 
Yep, both hit. Nice. Uh, D fours. Uh, I'm just looking at the chat. Twelve, it's just... twelve points of pierce. No bludgeoning damage. Twelve points of bludgeoning damage. And I'm kind of like, so I was like, while I was doing that, like one hand on my ribs, one hand holding the spear, kind of <clears> leaning <throat> on it while I did the high kick, low kick, because I'm Hell looking yeah. hurt. Hell yeah. And that's all I'm gonna do, uh, because I I don't have a bonus action to disengage safely so i'm just gonna stay there and hope my friends help me out and he hit someone else maybe okay Jax. i'm gonna try to hit with my mace go for it you got it bro come on big money um, whammies oh 30 20. there you go that hits no. i thought it was just a eight but there's a one there too you know it's a one eight yeah you know okay, or he takes. Oh, I just rolled d6 on d8. Oh. A six. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. Hey, man. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's not I'll the lowest it. damage I've put we've had so far in combat, so you got that. True. Race in the nuts, dude. Just <laughs> just trying to do with the mace. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Is that your turn? Yeah. That's. that's okay. Yeah. The Lazarin. Um. Seeing. Uh, Tigan. Looking fucking hurt. Yeah. I'm gonna run up to her. Can just Ballsy move. Behind her. Oh no, don't worry. It's a two part plan. Two -part plan. <laughs> uh, and I'll cast Cure Wounds. Hell yeah. Uh, you Thanks. get. Oh, you're so welcome. You get seven health back. Fuck yeah. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the movement running away. Yeah. Hey. I'm like, basically go up, just like, like touch you're her. Okay. It's like, ah! <laughs> you're like holding out um, one of those like grabby hand I things have... and just like, <laughs> okay. So the way you're doing it, because Diagon is in melee. Yeah, but I'm going up to her back five foot, right? Uh -huh. So I'm uh -huh. 10 foot away from Gorilla. Yeah, but he's uh -huh. big. Yeah, so he's in his reach. Yeah, no, he's right. so, reach. Yeah. That's fine. You are entering a 10 foot yeah, range I, of him I, leaving yeah, it. No. Yeah, yeah. And he probably has reach. He, that does proc an attack opportunity as you back out again he just quickly tries to slam down on top of you with one of his fists because he doesn't he does indeed have a 10 foot uh, reach with his melee attacks he did. Uh, that is a 22 to hit oh no yeah <laughs> mm. <laughs> sorry Don't be a dick. for nine points of bludgeoning damage <laughs> So you run in, quickly get a heal off of uh, off on Diagon. I feel you as you, as you <laughs> turn around to run away, you just, you just get bopped in the back by this giant fist that kind of like pushes you forward a little bit, and you can hear some things crack. But... Get concentration for bless, right? Oh yeah, my phone. Oh, true. DC ten though. Thirteen. I'm good. Oh, All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, um, and with Dane, that, you do move out of his range again, though. Dane, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So you want to do? So we just yeah, lost dude. two hit points. That was what we achieved, though. Yeah. <laughs> as, a, as a party. <laughs> net, I guess, I guess you could say lost. Like, like, net loss. Net loss. And you know, gave some of his HP to Daigon, I guess, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the current HP that I healed for, <laughs> <laughs> and that was my last spell slot. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have to either. Woo! This monkey man is hitting someone I would consider to be sort of a friend, and therefore I am going to hit it. No, it was last turn it hit Jack. Jack <laughs> <laughs> no, is a friend. Hit me. Uh, that's another shitty roll. Stop that. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. I got a four on the D four, but only a don't fucking you dare, eight. Don't you ever dare say seventeen is a shit. Roll. It was an yeah. eight on the oh, die. Two. Okay. God. Yes, that it was hits. an eight. Okay. So that is another uh, ten points of slashing damage. Uh, ten points of slashing damage. Oh shit. Yeah. All right. Because right, I'm right. raging. Okay. Same. And then. <laughs> It's been a while after, wasn't that funny, actually? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. 
Dude, I found power up L gorilla power up R way too funny. I'm not gonna uh, second attack. Funny you should have seen all week. Uh, 15. <laughs> that chef, you have to catch. Um, sorry, what was that, Ethan? Second attack, 15. To hit? Yeah. Or damage, okay. Yeah, it hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking 15 damage. Yeah, I wish. Uh, that one's just 8 points of slashing damage. 8 points? Ooh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. All right, Davian. Me, me, me! I shoot monkey. Oh well, it's a natural nineteen, so I mean, we'll just go with that. It's a twenty-seven to hit or something. Twenty-nine to hit. Um, yeah. I don't fucking know. For six points of piercing damage. Six points. Six points. How would you like to finish him off? Oh! Shit! Monkey. How Monkey. do you finish someone off in a fun way with a bow? I don't know. You shoot them in a really weird place. Left I up, wanna... up his nose. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Through, through an eyeball, <laughs> through the mouth. No, no, as he's like, as he's like, you know, panting because he's kind of fucked up. I'll run forward and do it like a slide and just shoot him up through the hell roof yeah, of his dude, mouth yeah. and out of the top of his head. Fuck yeah. As you do, as you do that, you kind of like slide like in between his legs and get behind him he just collapses and just this this loud thud and the ground shakes but after that quiet no more baboons no more baboons they seem to have completely moved on um what time of day is it at this point what time of day is it is it at this point um let me double check for you I need to quickly double check how long the trip up here was again hold on that's in the notes for my previous session. I think it should be approaching evening if I'm remembering mm, correctly. It was six hours of travel to get to like the edge, and you've been traveling for a couple of hours, so it is getting like an afternoon yeah. towards the end of the afternoon here. Um all right. Hold on. First things first, I'd like to retrieve my arrows. Yeah, you can. Anything you want to do with uh, this big ape corpse while you're at it? Oh, Kess is gonna go like examine it. Like some kind of okay, five-year-old okay. explorer. <laughs> I mean, it's just a big ape. Yes, it is large monkey. So it's not like Huge it's unusual that it would be. Creature. It's not like it would be unusual that it's like territorial and hostile or anything. No, it's not, not like all, not something all. in the woods that's upsetting the wild. Like, it's just like, oh, it's an angry <laughs> yeah. monkey. We're that something. It's like We're angry monkey. Yes, yes that's right. We're that something. We're that something. Yeah, no, Godzilla is like about to come around the corner. And, uh, yeah. You just killed Kong. A, a T-Rex or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, um, yes, no, it is just uh, baboons made noise. Big monkey came to check it out and saw you and was like, hey, you don't belong here. Get the fuck out of my house. Pretty much is what happened. Get out of Did my house. Did he seem like, like, like daddy of the baboons? Or is it just... No, different type of monkey altogether. Away. But um, it seems that the noise the baboons made attracted his attention and he went to come to Yeah, the so it, it's not like they they were calling for him. It's just they were making a ruckus and he was like, yeah. oh, someone's making a ruckus. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, I mean, I suppose there's nothing super unusual to check out. No, just a very big monkey. <laughs> Ape. It's like gorilla blood worth anything. I don't think so. Maybe in uh, a wet market, but like... <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think we. No, oh, fuck it. I mean, I'll get my arrows back and just kind of vibe. I guess it's, it's really anything super Edible. exceptional. Just like climbed on top of the monkey corpse and is just like standing on it, like it's a <laughs> playground. Nice. All right. So, eventually, after you've it. all uh, kind of, you know, looked at, investigated this this body of this giant fuck off ape. You carry on, and slowly but surely, the daylight that you do get through through the thicket and the canopy of the of the of the woods of the jungle gets less and less, kind of indicating to you that it is approaching evening. Um, a couple more hours go by, and right as the last bit of sunshine completely has disappeared. Make me another survival check, Duke. I will. I will guide him. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm being guided. You're guiding our guide? That was cool. Mm. Got a one on the D4 and a natural one on the D20. Let's go. Oh. Natural one? Two. Yeah. <laughs> Plus five, but you know, okay. natural one. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Good to know. You eventually stumble upon this green and yellow kind of like this 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 sandstone structure, almost pyramid-esque, but not as tall as just because you now have the word pyramid in your head, not as like tall and high as you would think Egyptian pyramid. We're we talking like Mayan sort of temple yeah, kind of thing. It's it's yeah. it's smaller. Um and surrounded by a group of pillars, and all these pillars have like these these snakes kind of swirling around them, like these Ooh. stone snakes. Um this this pyramid has um, a pretty basic design. There's not much intricacy to like the design of the actual pyramid, but the pillars around it are what is giving off the the, the heavy like Yuan-Ti sacrificial vibes that you've gotten from uh, the temples you've been to prior. Um, temples, plural for some of you. Temple singular, singular for some of you, depending on who you are. Um, you do see an entry point into this uh, pyramid. Say ziggurat. Do? Yeah, ziggurat is a better word. Um, true. Perhaps we should camp outside for the night. I I point to Jackson, nod in agreement. Uh, maybe not so close to this mm. thing. More maybe nodding. Back away, of course. Right. Maybe if you can, your know, excellent survival skills can get us back here. We can backtrack. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, well, um, we know where it is now. If we just. Uh, I, I'll sign to Kess and ask her to tell the group, like, uh, I could also get us back here now that I've been here once. Dragon says that she can also get us to the same spot now that she's, yeah. we, we've been here once before. Any immediate uh, signs of life? Make a perception check. God, it's just for one skill check, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I believe so, yeah. Uh, this is good. This is good. 21. You do see some lights coming from the entryway into the ziggurat. Mm, okay. There are lights coming from inside, so we might not be alone. I think we trek back into the jungle away. Maybe try to find a clearing or something. Set up camp. We, we necessarily got time for a long rest. Well, if somebody gets injured, I don't know about... Lazarin, but I'm very, um... Yes, my power capabilities have low. run out. And I just kind of, like, hold my rib cage again, like, from earlier. <laughs> oh, I, I get that everyone's tired. I'm just worried that we're gonna wake up and find that things are much less in our favor. Well, either we go in un like untapped, that's not in our favor, or we go in the situation's changed, and that's not in our favor. I'd rather go in full strength in a differenting circumstance than going under strength in something we don't know. And also, you guys, for the most part, for at least as far as I'm aware, have trouble seeing if it gets much later. What I will say is, seems like we're hot on the trail, and... I'm sure whoever, whatever we're following has to rest at some point as well. well so we'd be better to sort of get our things in order and, and rest up. Also, who knows if this is even the right one? It's definitely something of interest. Mm -hmm. e either way, it's worth checking out. Oh, definitely. So then, shall we go back a little bit? Did we pass a clearing that was somewhat nearby, Dio? Uh, a clearing, not really, but there there have been places where Davian would have at least thought to himself that this would do for shelter for the night, yeah. If we can't find anything too obvious, we can set up a campsite somehow. I mean, we've got tools and whatever, hatchets, clear some trees away. Yeah, seems good. Okay, and I, I will. Have uh, our tents as well. So, yeah, all right. Tents. 
We can make hammocks, whatever. Uh, and I will, I will look, well, back the way we came and just try and sort of start set, setting a course, I guess. Mm -hmm. March for at least half an hour, probably. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can do so with ease. You walk back into the direction you came, so back in a more southern direction. For about half an hour, and you find a place uh, where you th that you deem safe and will do um, to make somewhat of a campsite uh, for the night. Which you then all do. You set up um, your campsite, put up some Probably no fire. Think. I think that would be smart. Um, just uh, we got we got tents, we got bedrolls, sleeping bags, whatever. Just mm -hmm. wrap up warm in the night. We'll take turns keeping watch. Just keep a keen ear out and uh, no fire. We, the last thing we need is a dead giveaway that we're out here. Okay. Uh, what is the um? Unless there's something you want to do before you go nighttime, uh, yeah, what is... I'll okay. pull Brooks to the side, away from the group a little bit. Okay. I mean, we'll be in a tent together, so they're all two-person tents. That's true. Yeah. Um, Brooks, before you go to uh, sleep tonight, um, do you have something that you keep on you at all times? Quite a few things. Why? Well, I was. Maybe going to try and enhance it. I'm not sure it'll work, but could help you. I will unbutton the top of my shirt. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, and I will <laughs> take off a necklace with a silver ring on it. Uh, all right. Uh, I will return it to you in the morning, if that's okay. You make a run for it. I'm pretty sure I'll catch you, so... Be fine. I don't think this would make me much coin, anyways. So I'm just teasing you, big man. Be fine. And I will uh, leave our tent then. I guess I'll take first watch. It's you. Who all has dark yeah. vision? <laughs> Not me. That's why I want to take first watch. Okay, so I guess if I was to take a watch with. The... Elazarin, Elazarin could give me dark vision. Well, and then... I mean, I could give. Time only lasts like, only lasts an hour. Only lasts an hour, I mean, yeah. an hour and I'd have to do it at the time. Um, let me just double check. Let me. I'm just saying, uh, we we can oh. give Brooks and or or uh, Jax and or Brooks first watch before it gets too dark, and then either that or one of us takes last watch from there's... Oh yeah, when it starts Some to get bright races. again. I'll, 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 I could go with the Lazarin for. Yeah, I'll have to go in the Allow me to see in the dark. And then Diagon in the dead of night can also see and hear better in the dark. I'll nod at that. I mean, if we want to really split it, I can take one watch by myself and then before I go to sleep, give you an hour. Yeah, that works too. That works too. Should we split it? No, okay, I'm so I guess Jax. Then a Lazarin, then me, then Daigon? How many watches do we need? I don't know. We're sleeping for eight hours, so eight, four. Four. Right? Oh. Well, I won't be oh, able to go for two eight hours of sleep. I won't be able to do a two hour watch because I only get dark vision for an hour. So. Mm. You could, you're just being <clears> darkest <throat> for the last hour. Right. right. Just Up to you guys. Your ears. Just take last watch then. Figure it out. I. I could take a. I'll, I'll sign to Kess. I could take a three hour. Like, I could go a bit longer. Uh, Dagen says she's happy to take a three hour. Okay. So, yeah, we'll start with Jax for two hours, Elazarin for two hours, me for one hour, Dagen for three. That adds up, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because then oh. will I just take a short rest instead of a long rest. Well, no, I'm... we could do Diagon okay for two that. and then uh, Kess or Brooks yeah. when it's light out. Couldn't go yeah, two. that works. And yeah. then mm -hmm. everyone's everyone's well rested. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. 
Because basically, if I end up doing a shorter one, uh, or a longer one, and the rest is shorter, I'll just take a short rest instead of a long rest, and I'll just well, walk if, in place. If we gave you a three-hour watch, we would just rest the next yeah, hour. Yeah, then you're going to get a little yeah. of exhaustion for staying. Oh. Home. Yeah. If you skip a long rest, you get a point of exhaustion regardless. Oh. Even if you short rest instead. Fair. Because you invent, like, a short rest is like an hour, so you just don't sleep at night, pretty much, is well, uh, the consensus. Wait. It's almost like real life, how you get very tired even if, if you only sleep for like one hour a night. It's crazy. <laughs> it's not, crazy. It's like sleeping for, Unless like you're sleeping an elf. for more than one. I'm just not sleeping for a full eight. I'd be sleeping for like a handful of hours. But there's no yeah, for fucking that, so. five hours sleep sucks ass. I'm aware. Because that's what my usual I, like, sleep well, there you go, then. Five hours sleep is best sleep. But... All right, but let's, let's not get into a debate about everyone's sleep schedule and patterns here, please. Um, so, first watch was Jax. Me. Yeah. Anything you wish to do during your watch, Mr. Jax? Yeah, so I'll kind of like take his uh, chain ring and start to put this little device. And uh, as I get closer to the end of the first hour of my watch, like I'm still trying to keep an eye out, but mm -hmm. do my tinkering stuff. Um, I can, I'll turn on the mechanism and there's like this faint like buzzing that can almost be heard from it. Okay. And then I'll take it, put it away and just take the rest of my watch. Um, can I have a perception check, please? You have no dark vision, correct? Dark vision. Uh, with disadvantage. No. So yep. Okay. Uh, twelve. Okay. Um, you hear a variety of different sounds and noises that are very unfamiliar to you, but you count and you count at least seven different types of cries and, and noises that you assume to be just like seven different animal types all together just around in the in the area making noise that that, that carries on through the, the, the thicket and reaches you um which is uh both interesting but the concept is also slightly scary you have no idea what else is out there the first thing you saw besides those that group of baboons was a giant 15 foot tall ape <laughs> that <laughs> wasn't too happy with you entering its uh, its territory but with that your watch is over you finish uh, tinkering and it's time to wake up the next I think it's a Lazarin right mm -hmm. there you go a Lazarin anything you want to do during your watch uh not really mm, actually how far away did we camp from the temple about half an hour like That beat too far for what I want to do. Hmm, shame. Uh, yeah, that won't do anything. Then I'll just kind of keep an eye out. You know how it be. Okay. Alrighty. Can I get a perception check, please? You have dark vision, right? Yes. I have a billion dark vision. Exactly. How, how much dark vision do you have? 300 feet. Fuck it, I'll give you, I'll give you advantage. <laughs> Fuck it. Advantage, thank yeah. you. Because you can, you can see very well. Uh, Perception... Why can't I fucking see anymore? I just like thinking there. 23. 23. Um, the same thing I told Jax. Lot of different animals and their cries and... Um, but one thing that strikes you as... Um, Interesting is that you hear another sound. Not an animal, but coming from the direction of the temple. You hear okay. this loud, like, to you, not very loud, but it seems that it is it's traveling from that direction. This, almost this drumming. This is, this is like, this like heavy, um, this is heavy quaking sound almost. Jumanji. That has, uh, because of the distance it has to travel, it doesn't sound as intense and it's very hard to pick up, but you do kind of pick up a, a, a slight sound that does sound like some very distant, like drumming almost. Okay. How, like, far into my watch do I hear that? Towards the end. Baga. Or, well, towards the end, you start to notice it. You don't know whether it was already there before oh, yeah. or. But... Okay. Okay. Well, just keep in mind of it. Okay. And I will wake up. 
Davion. All right. And I will give him eyes at night. I can see. <laughs> and I'll just say, um, be careful. There's something happening at that temple. I hear okay, drumming. I'll keep it in mind. At least it seems like drumming, or at least loud. Hard to hear, though. But they're doing something in the night. Not so that surprising, considering. Anyway, good luck. And I can just go into the tent. Sleep well. Pip, pip. Thank you. And right. I shall, for an hour, watch and listen. Can I have a perception check, please? 23. 23? Now that Lazarin kind of made note of it, you initially start listening out to see if you could tell what he's talking about. You hear that same, like, very faint, distant drumming, but halfway through your mm -hmm. watch, it stops. Uh -oh. Okay. Other than that, uh, a variety of different animals uh, you hear uh, with, you know, you know a thing or two about animals, and you can recognize um, some more baboons kind of crying and and and, and uh, yelling almost uh, in the distance and shoe bills rattling you do hear a variety of uh, of birds uh, as well uh, you probably hear a shoe bill or two yeah hey and um you also hear a distant um what is it You hear a distant roar oh. Um, oh. that you place to be some kind of cat-like, like a jaguar or or that sort of creature. Mm -hmm. uh, not it's not coming from the temple. A not coming from the temple. Just this is just a wildlife mm -hmm. around you that you can hear, just doing their thing as they usually would. And you, but because you're, you know, you you know your way around animals, you can recognize a couple of the of the sounds you hear and kind of place what animals they are and stuff. Um, but nothing out of the norm, really. This is just typical behavior as far as you're aware and they're just they're just living their life really um nothing makes any uh, indication that anything is getting closer to you per se um with that your watch ends who do you wake up i can yeah. and i guess to a wireless response i'll just update her let her know about the, <laughs> the drums that stop midway through my watch mm -hmm. and other than that, everything seemed like normal jungle fare, I suppose. Just animals. I'll just nod. And I will bend down and sleep. The spoon right. of Lazarin. Dagon. Can I have a uh, perception check, please? Yeah. You have dark vision, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm still, it's just a normal roll, then. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, that is 18. 18? Uh, besides the like standard jungle fare that um, Davian so described, mm -hmm. don't hear much. Seems that uh, some of the animals that are uh, yeah, are not nocturnal are also like kind of done with their rackets and finally gone to bed. Um, you hear some birds. Some, some. I don't, and I don't hear the drums that Davian no. mentioned. They don't restart. Okay. Nope. Um, and that is your watch pretty much over. Um, that means, was his last watch? Help. There was one more. I think I was going to wake up Kess after me. Okay, there you go. Or Brooks, whichever. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I, I wake up I Kess. Mean... Okay. Brooks isn't going to complain about not being woken up. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, um... also I can talk to Kess, so I, I sign to Kess the, the Davian's mention of the drumming. Um, I'll get up. The way that the whole vessel thing would have worked, by the way, was that I'd have waited an hour just lying in the bedroll, waiting for other yeah. people to fall asleep, then go into the vessel for four hours, and then get yeah. come out. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Um, and you just would have made sure to go to sleep in one of the shadowier parts of where we were mm -hmm. camping, so you were like, I just like stuff <laughs> the stuff the bedroll with like travels as clothes, so it looks kind <laughs> of like. <laughs> <laughs> the form of someone sleeping there. Nice. Yeah. All right. Just breathing. Uh, can I have a perception check, please? As well, by the time that your watch starts, 
You, you can tell the sun is also like starting Ooh. to rise slowly. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Yeah, thirty-six. Um, during your watch, the sun rises and uh, the you know the light starts to shimmer through the roof of the jungle and lights up the area a little bit. And I would give you something cool because you're holding that twenty, but there's really not much going on. Like, that is really about <laughs> it. <laughs> she gets a really pretty sunrise. Get a really pretty sunrise. She's absolutely fascinated by it. There you go. And uh, with that, uh, I think that is everyone long rested as you all kind of yeah. slowly awaken. Um, anything you wish to do <laughs> after you, you know you pack up the I would like to spend the first few minutes of the day praying to change my spell slots. Okay. My, my prepared spells. Gotcha, gotcha. Off my face. I will take so. the campsite down. I will look over myself for insect bites, <laughs> um, and I want to look for fresh or clean water, I should say. How long did I say those elixirs lasted again? An hour. Uh, a, a day? Was it a day? I think it, I think it was a day. I think that was like your, your one day yeah. immune to like all kinds of jungle-related yeah. ailments and illnesses. Okay. So that is still effective, because you took it... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll wear like out halfway like halfway through the afternoon or, some, or something, something yeah. like that. So it, that, that is still in, in effect. It's good to know. Good to know. Um, if, if I see like Davian's looking for water, I'm just going to try and catch his attention and gesture to follow me. Because of my wanderer trait, I can always find fresh water and food and small game for myself and up to five others if the go. land provides it. Um, easy peasy. I can smell okay. the water. <laughs> I am um, you okay you find water but uh, for the purposes of you having that perk I'll tell let you know that it is not drinkable uh, the way it oh. is possible okay um, Davian you knowing your way around jungles and, and nature you know that Especially in jungles and the sort of thing, um, because of the nature of, of, of a lot of different bugs and, and, and unique diseases really only that only really live and fester in jungle type terrain, uh, to be extra safe, regardless of the elixir that you drank, uh, if you want <laughs> to drink water from any source in a jungle, it is a smart move to boil it first to make sure mm -hmm. that it is completely okay. We we all got in. one extra water skin, right? So you did, yeah. Yes. All right, I will. Uh... Mm. I guess I'll leave it be for now, since we have two water skins each, and I will just uh, <clears throat> eat, eat a ration. Are we drinking a day. Sorry. Eat a ra I'll eat a ration, drink some water. How yeah, fast are we going through our water skins? Uh, it's warm, so you drink uh, At one quite day minimum. Uh, Wood. quickly. Let me, there's probably some rule. I no, I that. A war skin holds four pints. I know that much. Okay. Ooh, what is it? I don't want to. Uh, this is a good question. Would we? Would a Lazarus know about jungle water being bad, or have you said at any point whilst I was praying that jungle water is bad? I mean, uh, well, I would have. I would have announced that we went oh, looking for water. Wizards yeah. of the coast suck my nuts. Okay. The character needs one gallon of water today. Yeah. A water skin holds four pints. Well, then tell me when gallons what four pints is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, that's uh, one eight gallon eight is eight pints. pints. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! So we'd be we'd be going through two water skins a day. Yeah. So course. we're we're out. We're tapped. But, like... Well, no. Since we've come here, we will be through one water skin, right? Since we were only here for half a day. Yeah. I mean, Which means we are down to our last water skins. If we collect some water, last us we head back. halfway through this day. So I will fill, I will fill a water skin with unclean water, mm -hmm. and I'll well, I'll say to Daigon like this: this is no good for drinking. But if we get a chance to camp and boil it, okay. it will be drinkable. So I would fill fill one water skin with it and just make sure you know which is which. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll do. I'll do the same. Of okay. my two, fill one of them. When you guys, if anyone would prefer, oh. I do have quite a few bottles of alcohol rolling around in my bag. I mean, I can literally purify water. 
Maybe really? Risky consider purified. Um, yeah. I'll just hold I can, out then the skin that I, can I render, yeah. I can water. render it free of poison <laughs> disease. It probably won't taste very well, but it won't be poisoned or diseased. There you go. I can do Wait. a five foot oh, radius sphere. Oh, you don't sphere. have digitation. No. no. I can do I you a... Could it if you had it. Yeah, true. <laughs> I, could do, I could do a five foot radius sphere, right? Mm, but it doesn't give you a depth. Just... Of the sphere. No, we'll just it say that you could. Well, it'd be like, five foot radius. Now is like, a sphere. Oh, a sphere true. is three D. Well, right. okay. I if you you would right, sphere. you would have to do some. But how much crazy pi related math to find out the volume of a five foot yeah. sphere? But that's a lot of fun. I mean, it's say. more it's more it's water more than, than we can carry with us. Exactly. Yes. So I will you just yo. You create a a space in the water that is clean and drinkable. Uh, it, enough for you all to fill up your empty I, water skins I, I, with. I will ritual cast it, and it'll take like ten minutes to do. Yeah, oh, okay. Just, just. I would say we all fill our empty water skins and throw yeah. all our empty water skins, yeah. oh, the the filled water yeah. skins in a pile for him yeah. to just purify the whole pile. Would that work? Sure. Or would you want us to decant them all into one container for him to purify and then? Whatever you guys want. Both. Okay, yeah, then if, we'll do it in the water skins. Just, we'll do it in the water skins, and I'll. Spend fucking ten minutes. I'll set up a ritual kind of. It's like, it looks like a weird exorcism for what he's going like things. I'm like putting <laughs> these things around and the power. After about ten minutes, the they... power Joaquin compels you. <laughs> be drinkable. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Just spooks the disease right out of it. Beautiful. Mm. All right, so <laughs> we've all a day's supply of water, and. Well, the temple's only a half hour away. There were drums in the night. I don't know what they were doing. I doubt they were also purifying water, though. They seem to go on for quite yeah. a long time. No, with the drumming that I heard. Well, I guess I didn't really hear it very well, right? You said it was No, it was like... very faint. It was very okay. faint. I couldn't like get a beat or anything from it or anything. Nope. Just I heard loud sounds. Cool. That's fine. Well, then, I suppose there's only one way to go, isn't there? We keep a... Keep an eye out. Yeah. Mm. Back to the temple to see All right. what horrendous snake men await, I suppose. And I will, uh, once we've all packed up, I'll, uh, yeah, start marching back towards the temple. Okay. Over. What was that? Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you all travel back half an hour, uh, north-ish to get to the temple that you found, uh, the night before. The torches that were casting light out of the door, um, have since turned off. There's no lights coming from the actual door this time. What do you do? Do you see any life? Any movement? Make a perception check. Dirty 20. No, you do not. Okay. Uh, it seems to be abandoned for now. At least on the oh. outside. Oh, the sleeping. Move That's quietly. I mean, night. we saw torches lit and we heard drums in the night, so... If they're still here, maybe they are still asleep and we've got the drop on them. Is, is, is there anything seemingly significant about the, the, the pillars? Like... Um... Are you proficient with history by chance? I doubt it. But... No. <laughs> you don't really know. Like, uh, so far, any every uh, Yuan T building structure has had like this, these 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 snakes and depictions, whether it was wall yeah. murals or is it how how are they or... arranged? Is it like a path and the pillars like either side, or are they around? Their pillars are like there are six pillars total, and they're kind of like surrounding the okay. the ziggurats. And, and it's each just like a has just like a snake up. just kind of like swirling up, like spiraling the the pillar. Okay. I'll kind of get the group together before we like go in. All right, just to make it clear, we're not going to be just indiscriminately murdering when we get in there. Ah, uh, because these we don't I... know what these you know people things are we don't know they could be just doing basic ritual rites that aren't in any way bad we don't want to jump the gun 
We are looking for Jeremiah. We try to be peaceful. If it turns, then yes, but we do not go first. I just nod in agreement. I will... don't know the situation. I suppose I can agree to that. Of jumping over a gun, but the rest I understand. <laughs> I also signed a kiss. Plus, we're not supposed to kill humans without reason. It's it's an old it's an old saying. It's I don't know where it came from. My dad said I, it at the time. I, I I can agree to that, but um, honestly, if I had to predict what's going to happen, I think we're going to walk in there and some snakehead bastard is going to look straight at us and charge us with a spear. So. Oh, I mean, I mean, that is the high odds. But I also want to make shit clear that we're not just going in there and. Well, this could be a very religious grounds and not. Oh, we could just go in and say, "Oh, we're here. We're here to pay tribute to High Lord Seth, or whatever his name is." Oh, yes, it might not even be Seth. That's what I'm saying. We don't know. You know, these people have religious freedom. All right. Your point. All right, we don't shoot unless shot at first. Right. Unless they start throwing those bloody spears at us. What if they're just regular spears, not bloody spears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, a figure of not literally. Uh, <laughs> a figure of not literally. <laughs> Seems fairly straightforward. Uh, how about you take uh, take the lead on this one? Who is you he? don't think I can get lost, or because you think that I'm the best one to get shot at? Because we can't really get lost at this point, and we're walking straight up some fucking stairs. <laughs> I will take the lead, I guess. Okay. We'll march alongside him. If we can Rowan fit at two. again. Not I'll, be, again. I'll be going to the back with my with my boat I out, but not, not drawn or anything. In the middle. In the middle. All right. Cool, 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 cool. You all right, all right, all right. enter the ziggurats, or or. In some way, it's kind of a hybrid. Yeah, like, it's kind of like half, half. It's kind of like, it's. I don't know. We'll go with cigarettes. I feel like it's. I was, I'm, I'm word, picturing but... something like the Great Seal sort of thing. I don't know if it's that many. Yes, it's no. not that big, obviously. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's fair. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, you enter a corridor, a corridor that leads down. Um, on either side of you, in this corridor, torches <laughs> illuminate as you. Enter a certain uh, proximity. Holy These steps door. lead down into a square chamber, in the center of which seems some kind of water basin. Uh, this uh, this is decorated by various snakes carved into the stonework. Um, a door or another pathway on the other side of this room, but this room itself, the only real thing that you a thing of note is the basin um accompanied by you know some some murals of course on the, some paintings on the walls is of it, a variety of of, of snake-like creatures is it religious iconography that i recognize make a religion check and does the the liquid in the basin smell like water or does it smell like something um, else it's water yeah uh 14. 14, uh, mm -hmm. you recognize Seth again? Yes, yes. Uh, you also recognize, um, these winged snake-like creatures. Uh, Kuwatl, as they're called, uh, which is <gasps> Yo! some kind of celestial snake being. Dude, those are in the one shot yesterday, because I oh, put them in the Feywild Zodiac. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> celestial, celestial winged snakes, really, is what they are and what they look like. They're cool! Um... That is about all you recognize. No one's down here. Not as far as you can tell. So it's just a, t a tunnel into a yeah, chamber with a water basin. Yes. And another and, door. And on the other side of this chamber is another, another like, Does the water basin exit look point. like it's connected to anything? Or is it very much like, just like on a, a plinth water basin? And like this? Would you like to, oh, sorry, would you like to investigate oh, it? I mean, yeah, well, yeah. Go investigate it. Make an investigation <laughs> check. Can I go just look through the next door? Yeah, you can. Uh, the next door, again, torches as you kind of like peek your head in. Uh, another, just another like stairway down. It kind of like rotates around and takes you lower. 
presumably underground, like properly now. Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> He's a smart boy. You it's water. walk up to the basin and are like, oh, I'm going to check out this basin. Fuck. And then just get distracted by this like mural of Seth looking ominous. At, What's this uh, water boo? That's very interesting. Let's um, see what they've done here. Shall we yes. head farther down? What? Um, I kind of wonder what this basin's about. Yeah, I mean, this we... mural right here is very interesting. Is the water I... clean? I was going to say, when he says that, I point to the water skins we filled up earlier and point to the basin, trying to imply, like, could this not just be a source of fresh water since jungle water bad? It's, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's not like a spring or anything, right? Right, DM? <laughs> yeah, is, uh, like you want to check out to see if the water is drinkable? Is that what you're saying? I want to see if it's drinkable and just, like, it's just a bowl, it's just a, a dish, a basin of water, right? It's tub. still, not a big, I don't even, it's a big like, bath okay. or is it like a font? Third bath. Are you, are you going to investigate, the, are you more interested I, in the basin or the water? At this point, because you're like, oh, is the water drinkable? Because the basin is like, is it connected to anything? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you want to know? <sighs> I want to, okay, the, the basin then, the basin. Okay, make an investigation check. Natural 20. What a smell funny. Natural 20. As you yeah. get close to the basin and you look at it, um, you notice um, that in the corners of the basin, there's small holes that seems seems to let in water from an underground source. Oh. Which uh, makes gives you the conclusion that this is drinkable. You also, because you rolled a natural fucking 20, Notice that one of the uh, stones, like the stone tiles in the bottom of the basin, is loose. I will give the tile a jiggle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, under this tile reveals to be a small bronze snake statuette. Ooh. Okay. Um, so there's nothing sussy about the water, is what you're saying. It's just clean Correct. water in a basin. Correct. I will fucking scoop up a couple handfuls and drink it down and wash my face and... <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, all that good shit. Okay. Did you grab the, the, the snake statuette? I did indeed. Okay. Bronze um, snake statuette. All right. Once you remove the snake statuette... Oh god. Oh. oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. You fucked it. There's this rumbling No, sound. don't Indiana Jones this shit. Jax, you notice the door <laughs> yeah. that you are at starts to close. Like, Oh, I go down. Natural 20 was a you go disguise. Down. I go down. You go through the door you go and into the door. Door. Do we see okay. this? I, we need to get through it. I mean, I, it is, it's not like a slow close. It is like a, like you, you because you're there, have the decision to decide I'm jumping into the room with my friends, or I'm jumping to the other side, but because that's only because you're there. That's I'm how that the is. So you're leaving your Can friends. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jax dies. <laughs> door closed. It dies. Do we all see this? <laughs> Jax. <laughs> yes, but what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna go start Nothing. fucking trying to kick the door. Okay, but I'm still setting the scene, so take your, the, the, patience. Take your time. Uh, the door that you came <laughs> in from also. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Uh, from no. from uh, above you, like against the ceiling, suddenly a flash of light as this yellow and green scaled snake creature oh, with feathery yellow and green wings. Uh, a creature that you recognize, Elazarin. Uh, Okawatl. Just oh. appears in a flash. And looks around at all of you. Me know how. Uh, praise Hello. Seth. Hello. Mm, I'm gonna say that much. Uh, I would like for you all to roll initiative. Oh, I accept oh, that. Oh, you! They're I up. wanted to wash my well, face in the I basin. They're a high my intelligence I mean, yeah, monster, Jax. But okay. yeah. Ah. I mean, does, okay. Does it well, it's not a natural like... twenty like last time, but it is a nineteen. <laughs> I got Do I need to roll initiative at this point? Should we just put me at the end every time? Like, <laughs> No, because there's a chance you can roll that 20. True. 
That is true. You can One in 20 that initiatives, you will go first. Okay. So by the time we're level 60. 20 plus, please. 22. I got a, I got a 20. Okay. But not natural. Dirty 20. Brooks. Diagon. 15 to 20? I got 15. Uh, Davian. 10 to 15? 12. Okay. 5 to 10? 5. Jax? 1. Hey man. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. Yep. I'm okay. moving up in the world. Um, you got one. You got one else. worse. Jax got one better. With that, Brooks, uh, you are up first. Ah, shit. Um, uh, this thing hasn't made any move for us yet, really. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to go over to the door where Jax went through. Okay. Did I get any rough idea of how idea. thick this door is? It seems to be solid stone. Yeah, but like, is it like yay much solid stone or like fucking two I mean, how, feet What are you stone? doing to try and determine it? First of all, I just did. I see it all. No, you didn't. Okay. Uh, can I? Fuck it. I'm going to, instead of pulling out my axes, I'm going to pull out a oh. fucking. I'm going to pull out my crowbar. Okay. Uh, you're going to slide it underneath and I'm going to attempt to start lifting the door. Okay. Make a strength check. Uh, just straight strength or mm -hmm. straight upload, strength. Uh, dirty twenty. It seems that no matter how hard you try, um, this door is attached to a, a mechanism that just makes it so that it it is impossible for you to kind of like break through the way you're trying right now. Uh, that's not considered an attack action, so I can't fucking bonus action hit anything. Wah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, based on how far the crowbar went under the door, even though I couldn't lift it, is this door, like, big boy thick? Do I have a sense that with really good strength I might be able to break it? Is it a big stone door? Uh, you, you don't. Okay. I mean, fuck, I'm going to use my bonus action to rage, okay. and then whatever movement I've got left, I'm going to move back towards this thing and just see what happens. Right. That's my turn. Fair enough. Dagon. Oh. How's it like? So it dropped down from the ceiling. No, it's... It's... Appeared like, towards the ceiling. Yeah, it just, yeah. in a, with a flash of light, it just it whoosh, appeared. It, it's, it, it got, it, it got summoned. It summoned itself, however you want to put it. Does it look aggressive though? Like, is it like hissing at us? Is it look, or is it just like it's there? It... Um, it is looking pretty, pretty aggressive. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but it's still up in the air. It's not. It's flying. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna just try and throw my spear at it then, I guess. Okay. Because I can't fly. Uh, wait, how high in the air is it? Uh, 40 feet. 40 feet? What's the mm -hmm. range on my spear? Um, That would be a disadvantage. Because it's 20 feet and then slash 60 feet. So that means I can throw up to 60 with disadvantage, right? Like the two uh, ranges oh, on the I weapon. I fucking hate that shit. It always confuses the fuck out of me. Because <laughs> the, the first number is like, that's a normal attack. The second number, the bigger number is like, it can go that far, but it's harder. So I It's think disadvantage with the yeah. second number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'll throw the spear with disadvantage. Uh, yeah. Oh, one of those was a natural 20. And the other's no. No, the other is an eight. <laughs> Doesn't hit, unfortunately. So you throw your spear and it just clatters onto the floor again as it lands. Damn. Unfortunate. Anything uh, else? I will use my bonus action just to take patient defense and get in a like ready stance because I have no idea what it's gonna do. Okay. 
Is that your turn? Yes. Davian. Uh, this thing appeared when I pulled the statue out of the hole. Correct. Mm -hmm. Materialized. Correct. What is the statue out of? Just a bronze. snake. A bronze, oh, a bronze oh, snake. Yeah, okay. I, I, I guess... I guess I'll just shoot it. I mean, <laughs> what else am I going to do? Oh, miss. Uh, 12 to hit. It doesn't hit, unfortunately. Mm. Sorry. Can I... Mm, I probably can't. I don't really have any bonus actions, so I'll just... Yeah, I'll just vibe, I guess. Okay. <laughs> It is now the uh, Kuwatl's turn, and it, it looks at all of you, and you all hear in your head, not even, yes, it's just telepath telepathic. First, you enter sacred ground. Oh, no. And now you steal. I was only looking. Uh, and it will... Hi. Not Target Steve failing to leave the premises. Swoop down and attempt, right. to, attempt to bite Davian. Ah, you bitch. Come at me, pussy. Uh, <laughs> really get bitten. 17 to hit. Oh, actually, no, 19 to hit, sorry. Yeah, that hits. Uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Uh oh. 10. 10? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you take uh, seven points of piercing damage. Mm hmm. But poison enters your system. Uh huh. Uh, uh. And you fall unconscious. Oh, oh. okay. So Great is unconscious. that zero hit points or just. No, not zero hit points. You're just unconscious. Okay. Oh okay. my god. But that means you don't have to make death saves because you still no, have you're hit points. Like, you're, you're just unconscious. You're just out. Mm. But okay. you just passed I'm just asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. It put you to sleep. Uh, and that is its turn. Um, it oh, is now no. low to the ground, though, because it had to come down Yikes. to uh, bite Davian. Elazrin. I will put my hands up. No, no, <laughs> Joel, hands up. And I will... So what do I know of Quartos? Do I just have very basic information? That they're just, like, the celestial being? Or do I know a little bit more? Like, do I know, Make a like, religion check. do they tend to, like, you know, are they more, like, on the bad side of Make a religion slow check. Session? Uh, 13. 13? All right, hold on. Uh, oh, if I could just fucking find the right page. There we go. You know, um, that, um, quattles are celestials. These aren't just regular, like, snakes. This is definitely an otherworldly creature. It's cool. Uh, you know that they... Um, are very smart, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Speak a lot of languages. Uh, have, are able to communicate through telepathy. Uh, telepathy. Um... You know that these are creatures revered to. They're not on the same level as deities, like Seth, for instance, mm. but a lot of Yuan-Ti in particular do revert to these uh, beings. Um, kind of how you as a religious person would approach mm. a priest or a cleric. Mm. Uh, yeah. Messengers of their deity. Mm. Um, and with all the Seth... Mm drawings about uh you reckon that this could very well be a kuwatl that answers to seth which does mean that it's it, it is definitely not good news <laughs> right hmm that changes things a little bit i will still kind of hands up in a non-throwing way okay i don't know if really what's been stolen but we'll return it we mean no harm here we're looking for someone. Someone who's made an injustice. We'll try to 
just want to find them. That is all. We're sorry for trespassing. We mean no harm. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Mm. Believe in you. Oh, one of those was so good. No. Eight. No. Seventeen and a four, boys. This is fine. Okay. Well, is that your turn? If that's what you do. Mm, I will kind of yeah yeah that's all I'm gonna do. Just hope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kesslin. No. Um, I'm gonna cast mage drama on myself, and um, how close is Davian to where I am? Davian is like, like at the basin of water. Okay. Can I? I, I want to see if I can find the little statue. I'm pretty sure you pocketed it, right? The, the, like uh, I I guess yeah I guess I'm I guess I just put it in my in my pocket okay. on my bag. So you're going to Davian's unconscious uh, body and you're just gonna go pick like go through his pockets. Yeah. Make an investigation check. If it, I mean, if it's in my bag, it'll be near the top, right? So she's just like middle combat, just rifling through his pockets, mm -hmm. giving him a pat down. Seventeen. Yeah, you find you find this little, little statuette. Okay, cool. Um, do I? Can I do more? Your, that was your action. Was going okay, through. Okay, cool. Uh, so that that's year. it. Okay, that's it. All right, Jax, what are you doing? All right, so I have a stone door next to me. Here we go. Yeah. And I'm in a hallway with torches. Correct. And this hallway seems to kind of like lead to another set of steps that goes down further. I want to try and invest, use my action to investigate the walls to look for some kind of lever or something to move the door. Okay. Make um, make an investigation check. Okay. That's actually really good. Uh. 19. 19. You see, it's very hard, but you do see that, like, at the top of this door, that, that kind oh. of just, like, that, that just kind of, like, fell from the from the sky, it almost seemed. You do see that it's attached to something more mechanical. But it's very hard for you to reach. Like, it's it's inside the wall, and but you just, you just see, like, the outer edge of, like, a metallic type of... Um, I'm assuming to try and grab that would be another action. Yes. So happy next turn. Okay. Uh, do I have any bonus actions or something? I don't know my spells. <laughs> uh, okay. Nope. That's. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Brooks. I mean, shit. It put homie to sleep. So. <laughs> Uh, how, it, it how far is this thing off the ground? It is now like f like five feet off the ground. Like hovering. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Get on his back. Ride it. <laughs> it's not very big. <laughs> it's like straddling a fucking broom. Like I'm doing like a silver surfer. Like I'm just gonna <laughs> try and bury my hatchets in it. Okay, go for it. Roll attack. Uh, first one is a natural 18. That hits. And the second one is a 18 total. That also hits. So, uh, that's 10. Shit. 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. Fuck this guy. As you cut at it, what, what normally would just chop in half if this were to no, were to be a normal serpent, instead you can you see like where your axe cuts it, these like flashes of 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 yellowish green lights kind of shoot out of its body before it like whoosh, fixes it, like visually yeah. fixes itself again. Ah, you're a fucking bitch. Uh, you don't know what yeah. That means, Yeah, fuck it. That's all I'm going to do for now. Okay. All right. Uh, Daigon. Um, 
seeing that, this is probably a stupid idea, but can I try and do some monk acrobatic stuff where I jump up onto its back? Because I basically want to try and grab its head and mm-hmm. then jump down and try and hold its head under the water in the basin. I want to try and drown it. You can certainly try. <laughs> and while I'm holding it in the ground, it makes it easier for other people to hit. So that's what I want to do. Tell more me what like, to roll to do it. <laughs> more like serpently try. <laughs> okay, stop. No. Um, for the purposes of this, I would ask you to just make a grapple check. So athletics, in your case. He's really Should out here. Trying to fucking waterboard a magic sneak. <laughs> yeah, why not? That's off the mat. Uh, <laughs> it's the same roll. Uh, that's only a 14. 16. You failed. Damn it. That was your that, that was your action. It was. <clears throat> How do I fail? Because that like I narrate what happens as I try. Because that determines you what my goal is. You try like, and where as I you kind up. of have its snake head in a headlock for a split second, it just kind of flashes, disappears, and oh. reappears where it was. Oh, what a fucking bitch! Okay. Um. I cannot bonus action unarmed strikes. I realized I did that wrong in the monkey thing. I'm only allowed to do that if I take the attack action. So that was my bad. Um, none of these attacks are bonus actions. Mm-hmm. I guess because I'm worried I pissed it off again. I'll just bonus action use my last key point and step of the wind again to take the dodge action in case it comes for me because I touched his head. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Um, Davian, you're unconscious, and that is just kind of the way it is. I'm snoozing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not much. There's literally nothing you can do. I'm so. stupid. I should have tried to wake up Dev. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> it is now the Kowatl's turn. And he... We're all fucked. Is going to now since <clears throat> Daigon was the last to attempt to headlock it uh, and uh, more. It's going to try and bite Daigon. Yeah, that's why. I'd- oh, disadvantage because of my patient defense. Disadvantage. Mm, that is still an, a dirty 20 to hit. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. fucked. Um, I need Waste you of key to points. make uh, a constitution saving throw, please. That's an eight. You take six points of piercing damage and you also fall unconscious. Ah! Okay. Sleepy time. Cat Sleepy nap. time. The last bad. Room. <laughs> didn't, didn't reply to me anyway, did it? Not, like, Not at it. all. No. Hmm. What the fuck do I want to do? <laughs> I don't know, man. Green. Cry. Mm. Shed. Um. Do I try something? Take up Frinky. So <laughs> we here. It'd be an action to try and like. Was that a time? Wake up, Davian. Correct. Okay. Oh, not good. Uh, hmm. Help action. Yes. Yeah, you can fucking... add an unconscious condition in D and D Beyond. It might. Yeah, I have. Man, it doesn't fucking work. That's the thing. <laughs> and then that's that gone. I don't really have anything else to do. So, considering this thing's in a bit of bastard, I'm going <laughs> to use guiding bolt on it. All right. So I roll to here. That's gonna miss. What a waste. Okay. Ten, ten's not gonna hit it, is it? Oh so... my god. We're all going to sleep. We're uh, all gonna go to bed and wake up in a dungeon or something. <laughs> and I just be like, how? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I. Session 4, DPK. Will. Session 4, DPK. Dude. Not... How's everybody's backup character? <laughs> no, be super sick, actually. 
I hope he gets. Yeah, out. that's my turn. That's your turn. All right. Yes. VPN total party now. You see, uh, <laughs> Daigon and Davian both unconscious on the floor. Sleeping. Jax is nowhere to be seen. What do you What do you do, Kess? Um, I'm gonna put the little statue back where it was. Okay. And then Good job. Move over to uh, Daigon. So you that right is there. You were right next to me. <laughs> Is there I'm any of the point, you against... picked up the statue. This is your fault. True. Yeah. If if it, if there are any attacks against like Dagon or anything, I would, would I want to protect her. Basically, I'm shield her, shielding her with my own body. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is cute. I can't wait till you're dead too. Won't do much, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Is yep. that your turn? Yep, that's my turn. All right, Jax. Put for the lever. statue back. Didn't do anything. I didn't say it was a lever. Or whatever it is. Whatever I saw. I'm going to okay. try and grab it. It's not something you can really grab onto, but you do see, uh, as you kind of, like, peer into it, that there is some kind of, like, mechanism in place that... <sighs> Make an intelligence check. I... I, I... You win these! Intelligent boy. I actually fucking do. Holy shit. <laughs> I just have my intelligence modifier, right? Yeah. 23. You look into like this this narrow space and have seen similar mechanisms before and you know that if you find something like long and, and thin enough to fit in between, you can disrupt the mechanism keeping the door in place to reset itself and that would result in it opening up. Would a crowbar work? Yeah, you need something smaller. You need something smaller. Crowbar, crowbar is too big. Yeah. Imagine if Getting the door open makes the thing vanish. Yeah, would, would, a, would a piton work? Uh, maybe. You can try. I'll fucking try with a piton. Okay. As you, this will be your action, but as you yeah. shove the, the piton up there, you could hear a click. And then, and that door that you're nice. at slides open. You see inside the room that you were just in, you can see this flying winged snake creature. Daigon and Davian unconscious on the floor. Kess piling her body on top of Daigon's to protect her from any possible attacks. But you've you've managed to open up the door again. All right, I'm gonna put on my most confident walk, seeing my party in trouble. Okay. Oh, <laughs> walk no. over to the Kowatl. Okay. And address it. Say, "Oh, I'm so sorry for my abhorrent grandchildren. They cannot stop touching anything. <laughs> I do so apologize." If you would allow us, we're just looking for a man named Jeremiah, and we would like to move on without any further altercation. This man better have plus 10 charisma. Make <laughs> Absolutely not. Also, Make a deception what, check with this advantage. How many different creature races did you bang to have all these different children? <laughs> One change then. I, I got an option. I'm a nice guy, I go to the shelter, I pick up an orphan, okay? I go to the shelter, we're not also, puppies! Also, you said grandchildren. <laughs> the you who guys did are your kids definitely bang puppies. To have all of us. <laughs> what the fuck? You said with a disadvantage? Help yes. Them. Fuck, I rolled a natural 20 on the first one. Wee. Wee. Natural, natural 20, 20 number two, ink. It's not a natural 20. It's a four. Where's my deception? Mm hmm. Nick. Uh, where's deception? Oh. I've got a minus two. two. Okay, cool. So that is 15. Oh, <gasps> okay. Is that turn? It's my turn. Well, the thing is, he might believe Books. him. The question is, does he give a shit? <laughs> yeah, it does. Fuck okay, it. Um, I don't like what's happening. I'm going to attempt to grapple this thing. Do I'm just going to try me. and fucking... I'm uh, going to hand axes in hand, just wrap my messy. fucking arms around it from behind. <laughs> okay. Uh... I get to do an athletics check. I'm raging, so I get advantage. Wow. Fucking not great rolls. 18. You oh. now have, like, this snake head kind of in a headlock, and this time it doesn't seem to teleport out. Fuck yeah. Uh, bonus action. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to fucking hit it in the back of the head with the fucking hand axe. Okay. Um, God, no fucking headlock, and you've just gone, bop. <laughs> It's still just a straight roll. Uh, uh, 15 to hit. Doesn't hit. Okay, well, fuck this thing, I have it grappled. 
good job. <laughs> good job. Daigon, you're asleep. Daphne, yeah, I don't do shit. You're asleep. <laughs> so it is now <laughs> the Kowatl's turn, and the Kowatl yeah. being headlocked by you doesn't necessarily mind and is going to wrap its entire body around you, attempting to constrict you. What a uh, reversal. You. It really did know you, Una Reverse. It really tried. It really did. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. So, you take... <laughs> it really know you you. Like, actually. Uh, <laughs> you take uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. After and are considered grappling. Matt. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Neither of us can move away from the other. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's half Let's to five. Let's keep trying to make way. friends with it, guys. Yeah, cool. We're just hugging it out. I've got a yeah. fucking... I've got its head in a headlock, its tail's going under me and wrapping around my neck yeah, from behind. <laughs> but like, as it pulls, I pull tighter because it's pulling, exactly. so it's like fine. Exactly, like each other like, like locked, essentially. Uh, uh, this is a weird situation Lazarin, right now. it is your turn. It's hot. <sighs> Seeing this weird sort of snake fest going on, and just yes. being like, okay, sure, I knew Brooks was weird, but whatever. Uh, I am just going to put up my fucking dome. My little special zone is coming up. I'm just gonna come up. Uh, and then as a bonus action, I will cast Elin Word on the No. Who's looking injured? How injured are people looking? Like, is anyone looking bloody? I don't think anything. Uh. I, I have like the one bite wound, like bite from wound, wound, being put yeah. unconscious, but it's not like I've I've had worse. Yeah, I'm not bloody. I have hit. I have some some blood drip slowly dripping out of a bite wound. That's not. But I may. I think I will then. I, y'all y'all seem okay. You're fine. Yeah, that'll be my turn. I'll, You're I'll right. just yeah yeah, I, and I'll again just be like fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> like please. <laughs> Right. Please, Mr. Snake Man! Don't eat this! Oh Don't need to do God. this! We're gonna die making friends with a snake! Can I seduce the snake, though? Stop. Oh, oh my God. Nobody fucking cares. Um, and I get... Oh, wow! Three temp HP! Wow! Oh, cool and cool! Not Kesslin. 30, fucking gross. That's a bit ambush. What do you do? Um... I'm gonna ready my action to mm, what am I gonna say? which one could wake I? up Diagon yeah I'll try wake up Diagon you use your action to wake up Diagon and Diagon wakes up okay oh lit. Fucking hell. me next it's that easy okay. that's that's all I'm gonna do okay um Jax all right I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. What does that do? And then <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that do? Okay, okay fine. Jacks. You'll find out when he explains it in a second. I'm gonna try to wake up. Uh, well, I guess I was. Oh, fuck, I was in melee with the quaddle, huh? Isn't the quaddle in melee with my body? True. I'll walk busy, around like, Davian. Uh, getting hugged Davian. and also hugging Brooks. Yeah, I walk over to Davian and uh, try to wake him up for my action. Okay. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Must have been. All right. I'm woke. You are woke. Uh, cast... And then I'll just say as I end, it's very rude to ignore your elders. <laughs> the stake's probably a million years old. Oh, I know, but that makes it funny. Yeah, Cass, you get seven temp HP. Oh, hell yeah. And um, uh, Jax, you get four. Wow. All right. Brooks. Hello. I have this thing grappled. Yeah, I guess technically, yeah. I am going to attempt to shove it. Okay. Which you, you can do when grappling. Why? Because fuck yeah. you. I don't really see the point. Like right, sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, so it's another athletics check. Mm -hmm. uh, it's contested by athletics or acrobatics. Uh, I have advantage because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a fucking natural 19. So 24. Okay. 
so you need struggling to see the point here though because if it if i succeed i can choose whether to shove it five feet away or knock it prone okay and then if i knock it prone and i am grappling it it has no movement and cannot get up from prone okay uh so your goal is to knock it prone right yes doesn't work because he flies oh well fuck you then <laughs> okay i'll use my bonus action to hit the bastard okay fucking natural 17. uh that so, hits yeah, yeah uh, i was just eight. like Plus, I was also like, you're, you're grappled by him, but by pushing him away, he just drags you with him. You know what I mean? Like, so that's yeah, why I was like, what is the point here? No, shoving can. <laughs> Where is this going? Prone, but... I was like, oh, is this what he does in, in Baldur's Gate? And he says, I have nothing else to do. So I'm just going to shove for the sake of shoving. I'm just going to shove. <laughs> yeah, because it's a bonus uh, action in Baldur's Gate. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> fucking eight points of slashing damage. Eight points of slashing damage? Yeah, fuck this guy. <clears throat> All right. Four temp HP. Oh. There you go. Ooh. Daigon. Thanks, Dad. What do you want I'm to do? I'm awake now. Yes, you are. Um, Wide awake. <laughs> Sorry. So, is Davian still unconscious? No. No, not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cool. Is, is it still reachable on the ground? Mm. It's not, has it, it's not flown back up in the nope. air? No, it still has. Uh, it's kind yeah. of like in a grapple lock with Brooks right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go start just scratching at it at whatever part I can reach that isn't also gonna hurt Brooks with my claws. Okay. So that's a 21 to hit on that the hits. first one. Six slashing damage. Okay. And then I will do another one with my unarmed strike bonus action because I did an attack this time. Go for it. Uh, no, that one's gonna miss. That's a nine. Doesn't it? All right. Well, I scratched it a wee bit. You did. Good job. Um, is that your turn? Yes. How much temp HP does Daigon get? Weeps. Oh, get it. Eight. There you go. Thanks. Um, I needed that. Davian. Oh, I get up. Woo. And I'm going to fucking shoot it. <laughs> This is a natural 20. Um, and real quick. Uh, when I hit a creature with an attack roll, I can mark it as my favorite enemy. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that I can roll the d4 and double the d4? Yeah, any dice that you roll gets doubled. Okay. Just make it short. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, um, that's... Um, 10 points, 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage, okay. Here we go, mm -hmm. now we're fucking getting somewhere. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Yep. Woo! Stop trying to make friends and fucking kill the thing! That'll be my turn. Okay. The Corps over. Five points of 10 HP. Oh, thank you. The Corps is going to... First, because you're constricted, you just take damage because for existing, Brooks. <laughs> uh, which, oh my god. Uh, oh boy, that's 13 points of budging damage just for existing in its so construction. So half down to six. Just for uh, Yes. Cool. And it is then going to attempt to bite you. Okay. Mm, 15 to hit. Doesn't hit. There you go. You managed to kind of just... Pull your head, pull your like neck out of the way where uh, his like. <laughs> All right. I'd imagine, I'd imagine instead Brooks just kind of it goes to buy and he just, like holds the mouth shut for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nope. Um, All right, that's its turn, Elazrin. Um. Yeah, seeing as this thing isn't isn't too friendly anymore. Not if it was but... anymore. Well, <laughs> no. There was a chance. <laughs> Gonna sacred flame it. Okay. Fuck oh. off. Dixie. Is that a disadvantage because he's grappled or no? I forget. I yes. don't think so. It's only if he's restrained. All grappling does is give them zero movement. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, all right. You're just holding them. 23. In place. Oh. Yeah. So I do nothing again. Flying snake is dexterous. <laughs> yeah, I love. Mm. Wriggles. 
really acing these turns. Uh, mm. I, get, I mean, you're giving ooh. everyone temp HP. Yeah, ooh, that's pretty fucking huge. I now get an extra one temp HP because I rolled a four. Wow. Well, there you go. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, and that's. Oh, Mata. I was going to say. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'll Eldritch Blast it. Hell yeah. Why the fuck not? Eldritch. Thirteen. Sorry? Thirteen. Thirteen doesn't hit, unfortunately. You yeah, Eldritch Blast, you just... <laughs> in the, in the yeah. stonework above it. I'm not gonna do anything else, because I can't. Yep. Um, Jax? Oh... <gasps> I don't I wanted to be friends with the snake. <laughs> and now I've fucked myself and used the spell for no reason. Um, okay. I am going to... Is anyone looking kind of fucked up? I think no one looks bloodied. Shit. Uh... Fuck. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to fucking ruin that then. Alright, I am going to use Frostbite on it. Okay. Get a constitution saving throw. Interesting. Con save? Yes, sir. 17. Fuck you. Okay, I do nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Seriously, Sorry. fuck Flying Snake, actually. Yep. That's my turn. This is a heavily nerfed version as well. Oh boy. Um, okay. That yeah, shouldn't we spend turn. around sleeping and trying to make friends, huh? <laughs> Brooks. I mean, now knowing that I can't shove this thing to the ground, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hit it twice. Go for it. First one's a... Uh, 21. Hits. Uh, max damage, so 11 points of slashing. Oh, shit! Okay. Fuck this thing. Second one's a natural one. Oh. Man. Get fucked. <laughs> Get yeah. fucked. Alrighty. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Diagon. Gonna just keep trying to lay into it oh. and just scratch away. Jax, you so... get eight temp HP, so I keep forgetting. Brooks, you also get eight. Who else has a turn? Did Kess have a turn? Uh, Kess, you got five. Cool. Can I keep the seven? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Get so, <laughs> my first scratch attack is 18 to hit. It hits. Second scratch attack is only 13. Doesn't hit. Alright, well, first one does five points of slashing damage. Five? Yep. As you claw at this snake... You can see the room lighting up brighter and brighter, this yellow and green light. Uh -oh. As now, like this Kawatho's body just starts burning brighter and brighter and slowly just <laughs> evaporates. Phase two? I got it! And disappears. I got it! You got it. I got it! You got okay. it. Okay, I will go back to the tile on the floor and I'll take my fucking bronze statue out back. Okay. And then you summon another one. Um, right, imagine. <laughs> yeah. Te okay, well, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Technically, you wouldn't know that it's gone. You were unconscious when that snake got taken out of your bag and put mm. back under its Oh, own. yeah. True. So technically, you wouldn't know that it's gone. You wouldn't know that Kess took it and put it back. Uh, yeah, okay, that's true, but I feel like I would... After an encounter caused by the statuette, probably check for it and have a little look. You know? Is that not- is that unfair? I... I'm gonna roll a d4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. One and three, you don't check. Two and four, you do. How about that? Okay. Two, you check. You check. Okay, I check. Yeah. I realize it's not there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did the snake take the statue? Or... I mean, we tried to give it back. Mastodon. I mean, we tried to give it back. You tried to give it back? Yeah, it didn't mm. really work. So it didn't take it? 
So where is it? I look at where you Cass. found it, but I wouldn't take it again just in case. Could it be a trigger mechanism that just summons that in some sort of magical summoning? Oh, I'm gonna go pick up my spear, by the way. I need also, to considering we are trespassing, and they do make a point of also stealing from religious grounds, probably not our greatest idea. But you do you. <laughs> but you do you. I'm sure the eyes of whatever deity you follow won't mind it. Ooh, Though okay. I don't understand what the point of taking it is. Whatever. Well, it's a little statue of myself or something. I said it's a different you want. What do you mean, why? What other purpose would someone else have for it? Uh, it's a collectible. Melt it down. It's bronze. It could be a collectible. <laughs> someone else who likes snakes. Those, those if you get the whole lunchbox set, it's very worth a ton of money. One of each color. Is there a silver? Is there a golden one? Emerald? Well, I don't know. I'm not a collector. Get it valued by Water Gaming and. Sell it for a hugely oh. inflated price at the bazaar. There's a in the hallway middle. back over here. Uh, did that other door lift, or is it still just down? That other door is also open, so, as uh, oh. as the quattle disappeared. Well then, shall we continue investigating? <clears throat> All right, we'll yeah. continue, and I suppose no one try and steal, steal anything. Me. Jack is the temp the temp Brooke. HP gone now. Uh nope, the temp HP never leaves. Arrival. Really. Oh, yep. Does that mean we can replace it? Nope. <laughs> okay. Like, if, like as long as we're in this sphere, like I could for the next, like I could just do a bunch of fucking rolls till we all have it as an eight, right? Yeah. But you're like, not doing mine's that. already like, an eight. Blah 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 blah. Right? But you're not like, doing that. But we're not doing that. It's not we're waiting around for a minute. I would like an. I would like eight though. Tough city. Oh, fuck you. Like, oh, Didn't we get some potions? Hold on. I have a potion that I found. And yeah, everyone I need, I need, actively I need to... watched me pocket. I'm sure I have a potion somewhere. I Maybe, can. probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Um, no. I'm gonna head down the hallway. Uh, yeah, the temp HP, the, the spell doesn't like the effect doesn't say it goes when the thing goes, so you just kind of keep it. Okay. okay. Dope. So All right. You, uh, yeah, I guess I guess forth. we'll follow Jack downwards. All right. As you leave this room and take the stairway down, we're gonna take our break there. Yay! Yay! We'll be back nice. in uh, five to ten minutes uh, for the second half of this session. Uh, quick thank you for because there's a lot of thank yous to go around because uh, we've had a quite a busy first half. OG, Soko, Ethan, thanks again for the subs, guys. Fantastic fiends, dangerous, dangerous fear. Thanks for the follows. Jake, my muse, my flame. Thanks for the host <laughs> and the follow. Billy, the flying axolotl. Thanks for the follow. Fantastic Fiend, thanks for the Prime sub. You guys are all awesome. Appreciate you. We're getting pretty close to 200 on Twitch. I think we're like 20 odd away. So like we're, we're getting there. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we'll be back in 5-10 minutes for the second half of uh, session 4. As Swede raids right before Sweet. we go on break. Perfect. <laughs> Swede, thanks for the raid, dude. We're going we were on about break. to start our break. But uh, no. appreciate you. Hope the stream went well, guys. Go follow Sodium Swede. He's a legend. He's a gamer. Hey guys, we just nearly died fighting a magic snake. A magic snake with wings. Yep. It was so much fun. Um, sorry, but, but Swede, but we do appreciate the raid, man. Very much so. If anyone uh, is watching from Swede's community, uh, we're Dungeon Select. We play D&D and other things every uh, Sunday. Um, every Monday we play Baldur's Gate. Uh, every Thursday we have a talk show called Dungeon Discourse. Go check, you know, if you're new around here, you like tabletop gaming and D&D, &D, throw us a follow. We would appreciate it. And guys, go check follow Sodium Sweet, friend of the community, part of the level select gang gang. Um, and all that good stuff. We'll be back after our break. See you guys in five to ten minutes. Bye. Adios.
And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. <laughs> Hello. Boom. No, 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 no. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Thanks for sticking around. All that good shit. Uh, back from our break. Um, let's just let's just let's just jump into it, dude. Let's yeah, just fucking, fucking go. Jump into it. I'd rather go. walk. Okay, fair enough. We can walk. Into it. It's all good. You're old. I get it. Um, so, <laughs> after uh, surviving your altercation with a Kuwatl, a, a, a serpent celestial, you continue forth and enter a corridor that leads to the floor below. Which, unlike the floor above, where it was just kind of like an, a, a big open room, this seems to just be a tunnel, a hallway that you keep following. Uh, no real offshoots, it's just one hallway that seems to kind of be taking you along the walls and kind of like circling around the perimeter more and more inward. Um, halfway through this, this journey, you start to hear voices. Almost a chant, but one voice towering over uh, the rest of the, of the, of the voices. Speaking in a language that none of you understand. But uh, at this point, it is a good guess that it is probably draconic, as most of the things that you've read or listened or, or had translated had were, were draconic relating to the Yuan T. As you keep following the tunnel, the, the chanting and the and, and the talking gets louder and louder. And as you finally round the corner, round the bend. You can see that there, your tunnel leads into a room. And from where you're standing, what you can see is that in the middle of this room sits a large stone table on which, on top of which a humanoid figure lies. Surrounding the table are five yuan -ti priests. And as you kind of see this all happen, the chanting stops and one of the priests just yells, Arch of Nimon. And as this la these last words get spoken, the humanoid figure on the table starts to squirm and his body begins to transform. He yells in agony at first. There's, there's a loud shout in agony and pain. But as the shout keeps going, the tone shifts to satisfaction almost and becomes this pain this this painful agonizing scream transforms into a powerful rage you can see that on the table the humanoid growing in size his legs transform into one long snake-like tail his arms start to grow scales and these big claws his head changes into a scaled snake head what do you do? Man turning into snake, there are five priests. Correct. Mm -hmm. This seems five, really far, fucking sketchy. How far apart are the um, priests from each other? Are they in a line? <laughs> They're not. How far apart are they? Like, like 10 mm -hmm. foot between? Okay. There's no one... And that's all we see. We don't see anyone. How many? That, are... There's a human in there now. Like, there's no no Jeremiah human. Or is, is there is there anyone that has their their mouth covered or like a covering around their the lower half of their face? Figure 
on the table was humanoid, but that has now been uh, yeah, transformed yeah. into the shooter. You don't okay. know. Before he got transformed, could we see if he had a covering? You're too on his far face? away. Damn it. Okay. Um, how many like if I how many like within twenty feet of each other? Huh? How many of the priests are within like twenty feet of each other? So I put a point of twenty feet. You can how get many three. Can and get three. Yes. Um, do we want to try and talk to them? I... Oh, yes, I And do. say what? Yes, I do, but I fear that it is probably going to end as well as our last time we tried to talk. I don't want to be the aggressors. So we could just leave this place. But I just feel like that's probably not going to be an option. Well, if... If what was on the table was Jeremiah, yeah, then we need to take him back. Can I? Can I just try and do a a, a sniff the air and see if I smell? Is there any scent now post transformation that is human, or now is it all transitioned to snake people? Snake. Oh, I don't even just need to snake. Check, I guess. No, okay. just snake. No humans in there. Okay, <clears throat> I'll sign Anymore. to cast that I can't smell anything human coming from the room. As you were all kind of standing still, like kind of discussing what you were going to do, the five priests all put a hand on uh, the figure on the table that has stopped squirming. And the figure disappears. Ah. The table is now empty. And the priests all kind of look at each other. And that is it. All, I'm going like... to go talk to them. Sure. Okay. Um, sure, excuse right, me, right, gents. So oh, could you have just waited until you... <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you've seen a Jeremiah around here. This The, the yuan Ti priests look at each other, look at you. And one of them speaks up. In common. Oh. It seems Jeremiah was a tad sloppy. And that our next meal into the temple. Um, um. Well, we don't need to fight. If he's not here, then we can just go. They're hungry. <laughs> like we could make a deal. I'm sure you like to make deals. I'm sorry. He was nope. required elsewhere. So but that I'm was. I'm afraid. Him. You're not leaving. That's I shoot. You th that's it. I, I, at that point, I'll just be like. I shoot. <laughs> Okay, you shoot an arrow. Um, I shoot. Okay, yeah, go for it. Roll, roll an attack. And I'm gonna cast. They're all like, they all went close to touch Jeremiah, right? So they're all like really close yes. together. Correct. Yeah. Cast sleep. Okay. Ooh! Coming in. Mm, oh, wait, ten. Uh, ten to hit? Yeah. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe the arrow was perfect, but you missed because he slumped over asleep. Yes. It, yeah. We like that answer. It was the drool on his arrows from when he was asleep. Just kind of slipped. Mm. Okay, so you cast sleep, Koibi? Yep, I'm just adding it up. I can affect... Uh, let's make sure I've got this right. Yeah, I can affect 27 HP. One of them falls asleep. Oh. Good night. The one as the arrow has come right at him, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the guy that falls asleep. Yeah, so yeah. Is it? yeah. <laughs> uh, with that, though, I would like to also roll initiative. Oh. I've had two really good initiative rolls today. Watch this one be shit. Yo, can you give me one of those good ones? Thanks. Mine's statistically average. Is it too late to give myself advantage? Yes. Damn. <laughs> Worth a shot, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even an action or bonus action. I can just do it. What do you mean? I'm going up in the world, guys. My vigilant blessing is just you give one creature you touch, including possibly yourself, advanced from the next initiative. Roll. We'll say that because you were busy casting sleep, but that yeah, you that's weren't true. That's, busy. Fair. that's fair. That's fair. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I'm I not. Mean, no, I'm not. I know you're not. It's fair enough. I mean, one homie's asleep. Better, better have a sleepy homie than you have better initiative. Rather He's not three wrong. of them be asleep, but here we are. I'm out of key points, big sad. 
And just upcast not... sleep, forehead. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll upcast it from first. Just take a short rest, level. and then we'll fight after. Can't do that either. Don't get any spells back. Just tell the priest, hang on a sec. I need a nap. I need a long rest. I can't okay. nap. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, literally. Okay, okay, okay. So, give me a second. Is that I have five people now that I have to fucking take into yep. account here? Uh, That's fair. Okay. Outrageous. Initiatives twenty plus, please. Uh oh. All right. Fifteen Ooh. to twenty. Eighteen. Eighteen. That's the highest I can roll. Okay. Guys. 10 to 15? I got 10. 13. 11. 13 for Brooks. Uh, 11 for Lazarin. Mm -hmm. Okay. 10 for both Diagon and Kess? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming Diagon has the higher dex here, right? I would think so. Mine's plus Probably. 3. Mine is also a plus 3. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, What's your actual different. number? Uh, 17? Yeah, 17. Yeah, mine, mine too. Up All to right. you, which one wants to go first? You can go first. Okay. There we go. Uh, I everybody? appreciate oh, no, uh, Jax. Nine. I, I rolled good. You know what? You I'm know? almost double digits. I'm That's almost there. Gross. That's the big Jax. improvement. I rolled a double digit. It just right. knocked me underneath. So one of the priests... You roll at 10. ...fast asleep. Rolled 11. Davian, Ooh. you're up first. What do you wish to do? Now, I'm at a disadvantage to hit man on floor, correct? With a range attack, With yes. With a range attack. Correct. Uh, I will... <clears throat> Who, which whichever one, oh rip the battle maps. Yeah, Wh whichever man, one is is the furthest this away. Fucking fight and it got fucked and I'm pissed about it actually. It happens. Um, sorry, what was that? Uh, dude? Well, whichever is the furthest away, I will. Whichever is the furthest away. Yeah, sure. Which is a twenty-three to hit. Yes. And I will use my uh, second favored foe. Okay. On him. For an extra d4 damage. Four. Oh, 13 points of piercing damage. 13 points of piercing damage? Very nice. Yes, okay. This one immediately, like, looking bloody. Your, your arrow just pierces his chest, and he grabs his chest, and it starts bleeding profusely. He's not looking like he's having a good time. Um, We're still in the tunnel. Right. You, I mean, you haven't entered the, the room proper yet, no. How how wide is the tunnel? Wide how enough wide? for all of us to be shoulder to shoulder, or? Uh, three of you could be standing next to each other, like like shoulder to shoulder. Okay, I will just get like get up against one of the walls okay. as long as I still have a decent view through the through the door. <clears throat> all right. And that will do it. All right. Uh, that is your turn, Brooks. The fact that I got a 13 and I'm going second, mm -hmm. still um, I will run toward the closest one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bonus action rage, uh -huh. and I'm going to attempt to grapple him. Go for it. Is this the same one that Davian fired at, or no? No. Davian fired at the furthest away one. The furthest away, okay. Okay. Uh... Uh, 21 athletics. Right. So contested. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> okay. Him. Yeah. Cool. Uh, fuck this guy. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. Let's mm -hmm. quickly mark down that this guy is grappled. Cool. All right. Um, the Yuan Ti priest that has fallen asleep now is a turn, and I'm pretty sure he just gets to do nothing because he's sleeping. He's mm -hmm. asleep. He's just um, tired. It's a long day. So that means that now the priest that has an arrow stuck in its chest has a turn. And he is going to look at you, Davian. Not looking too happy. <laughs> and is going Hello. to cast Guiding Bolt at Ooh. first level. Straight up, bussy. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 to hit. That does indeed hit. Mm -hmm. Quickly, look. what's the damage die for a fucking Guiding Bolt again? 46. 46. That's a lot of damage, guys. Plus advantage on the next attack against you. Damn. Damn. A lot of damage. Um, 13 points of Whoa. damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking bloody, guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You know, it's unfortunate right. you didn't get 8 um, temporary HP. That is his turn. 
the Lazarin, you're up. Cool. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. It's not worth it. Um, I will <laughs> say out. I'll, I'll just be like, I'll say, I don't hear the one that's asleep. They'll wake up. Yeah. And then I will cast, cast, not going bolt. Fucking hell. That's tempting. Uh, Go I'll, do, I'll do sacred flame. Okay. On oh, Davi. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pussy. You know. Um, oh, I, will... I got a fucking no. shit. Okay, Did I thought I would ace the, the dexterity save. I really didn't. So team. let's not do which that. One you, uh, which uh, one are you? Which one are you? What the one on the far right? I don't fucking know. Okay. What has sure. been hit? What has been hit on the far right? Uh, that is an eleven. Oh, I fucking failed. Wow. <gasps> and it. <laughs> One. Don't tell me it's a one. Two points of damage, Ooh. baby! That's double the minimum. Woo! Think about it. All damage, damage is good damage. Ah, fuck you. I love just getting to roll. More damage than Jax does. It's great. It's really cool uh -huh. and fun. It's super cool and I love it so much. It's is that cool. your turn, Quaiba, before you continue bitching and moaning? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, now... I'll move slightly forward to like okay. try and get in the way, like in front of Davian, like not too much in the way. Just gonna... it is now that particular Yuan-Ti's turn. Oh, great. Uh, Daigon, you're after this, so I'll keep that. Okay. In mind. Uh, and he is going to guiding bolt you, the oh, last one. Ooh, thirteen to hit. Miss. Misses. So he shoots a bolt of blinding light at you, and it just. <laughs> hits the wall beside you. Some of the stonework kind of cracks but uh, misses. And that stone also ver shines very brightly as you have advantage on wh whatever attack you may make at that stone. Um, that is its turn. Daigon. Uh, go for the farthest one that Davian shot at. See if I can finish okay. him off because he was looking angry. And we're gonna try and attack him First, uh, with the the spear, kind of doing with like the one hand, the thing where they kind of like swing mm -hmm. it so it swings forward and slices him across, and then uh, then pull it back and then follow up with a haya, okay. the unarmed strike first bonus attack. action. Roll your spear so attack. So the spear is twenty one to yeah. hit. Yeah, 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 <laughs> And I, I'm only one handing it, so it's a d six. Fuck me, I rolled a one on the d six, so it's four piercing damage from the spear. Okay. And then for the unarmed strike to follow, that's a natural one. Unfortunate. Rip. Um, is that your turn? God. Yeah. You're okay. You really yeah. Have, I have no an amazing first hit, and then like Kessler, right. I do some really bad ass shit. Jax, you're after you're up. after this. Um, you want the sticks, as they say. Is the one who was talking still up? Uh, the one who was talking is funnily enough the one that fell asleep. Okay, <laughs> let's check it. Um, you guys! I had to just mark that as Yuanti Priest 1, and in my head I was like, number one will probably be talking. <laughs> and then I went when you cast sleep, I just went for, I counted just from one a one up, and I was like, yeah, only one falls asleep. So yeah, I guess the amount oh, of yeah. talking felt past that. I mean, I shouldn't have got very similar HP because this was the like, lowest HP first, but fucking who cares? They have the same amount of HP each. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Is there one that hasn't been attacked yet? Sorry? Is there one that hasn't been attacked yet? Uh, oh, besides the one sleeping, yes, there is one uh, on the far left that has not been okay. uh, damaged. How yet. far away is that from me? From you, it's about like it's about twenty feet before you enter the chamber, and then it's like they're like they're like fifteen feet deep, so thirty-five feet. Fuck it, I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. I would have had a map, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna move forward five feet, so I'm thirty foot at range and cast Witch Bolt. <clears throat> okay, hell yeah. Roll do your attack. It, do it. Uh, 21. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dead. Chuan is about to get fucking exploded. Oh, max damage. Okay. Uh, that is... How much is that? I don't know. 12 plus 15. 15 points of damage? Woo -hoo! Yep. Okay. Oh. Uh, does this also come from the necklace? Like, does all your magic yes. come from the necklace? Yes. That's fucking badass, actually. You this know... one is instead, like, she, like, holds onto it, the witch bolt comes down, and it's like a heel color lightning, essentially strike. Hell yeah, that's awesome. And the beam, obviously, because Witch Bolt stays up, you kind of keep your focus and just whoosh, this, this lightning like energy yeah, it's just coming. completely. Poor guy. Uh, it just makes this guy's life living hell. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, is that your turn? Yep. All right, Jax. Yeah, well, this I'm cracked on the sticks. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. So, who who, who said that? Spider friend. 
He said okay. I was on the sticks, so I'm cracked on this. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take out my little spider friend, okay. put him on Davian as I run by, and say, uh, "Don't crush my spider." <laughs> and I'll cast your wounds on him as I run by. Nice. Um, you get. I hope I roll good. Ooh, seven plus four, eleven. Eleven. There you go. Ooh, ooh. There you go. Nice. Sheesh. And now you're my slave for life. Um, and then I'm just gonna what? run to the nearest. Do you want tea? Uh, the nearest. Um, okay. That would be the one that like uh that that is that Brooks has in a grapple. Okay. Yeah. And or I'll the just one that is asleep. And like it's intimidating. Okay. Looking intimidating is easy for Jax. It is when he opens yep. his mouth is when that kind of <laughs> goes shit. Well, uh, swings a weapon. It <laughs> loses the, uh... Okay, let me have a look. Uh, the far left, so the one that is being witch bolted, now has a turn. And is going to cast Guiding Bolts towards you, uh, Kesslin. Because it's me. Uh, ooh, 12 to hit? No. <laughs> there you go. So again, this, this, this bolt of, the, like divine radiant energy just slams into the wall like behind you Kesslin. Uh, now the yuan T priest being grappled by brooks has a turn and he is going to just turn his face towards you brooks Hello. Just spit poison at you just why does everything in this fucking campaign spit on me ah uh, you've had those I mean, things spit at you i kind of asked for it. um Wait, hold I on, I'm rolling, but I'm pretty sure that's a deck save. Uh, no, it's a con save, sorry. Ooh. It's probably yeah. better for him. It's going right in your mouth. Con save? Con save. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, you only take half damage. That is very poor. Great. Uh, where's my d12 at? Do I still save have my temp it? HP? I do, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, so you would have taken eight, but because you made the save, you take four points of poison damage. Cool. And that is his turn. Uh, so now we go back to the top of the initiative order with Davian. Okay. Mm. I mean, there's one thing to do. Wait, I don't remember if the guy died. He didn't die, right? He didn't, he didn't no, die he yet, didn't. no. Oh, but he's looking really fucked. He's looking yeah. pretty fucked, yeah. Good him again. Because I, I also poked him with a two out of the Two out of the five you want to uh, look bloodied. The one that is being witch bolted and the one that you shot an arrow at are bloodied, technically. But they look they look fucked compared to the rest. I I can't move favored foe or anything like that, so I'll just I will shoot that one guy again. Go for it. And get the most out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that is a... I really need to get used to what my attack bonuses it's a 15 to hit that hits oh god two six points of piercing damage that is enough that is enough beautiful Damn. you almost like robin hood your arrow you exactly <laughs> where the arrow hit his chest shoot another arrow and it splits the arrow that's already there in half and just Penetrates the chest in the same spots, this time going a little deeper, and he just looks at you, you just hear this, <gasps> and he just <laughs> collapses. Closer to the heart. Okay, so that is one dealt with. Very good. Anything else? And that will be my turn. turn. All right. That will be my turn. Brooks. Well, since this one isn't a flying snake. Correct. Don't you fucking spit at me. And then I'm going to attempt to shove attack. Okay. Natural 20. Yeah, I mean... Yes. <laughs> no, te technically it's a, it's a check again, isn't it? So, yeah, it is. But so, I don't roll natural 20 back, so yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, this snake man is now prone on the ground. Okay. Still restrained. Okay. So cannot get up at the moment because it has zero movement. Mm -hmm. And then my bonus action... I'm gonna fuck him. Hand axe him in the fucking side of the ribs. Oh yeah, go for it. But he's prone, so I get advantage, right? Correct. Fuck yeah. Melee attack, yes sir. Um, eighteen to hit. Yup. Fucking minimum damage. Mm. Uh, three points of slashing damage. Unfortunate. But he's prone. 
you know, he's prone. There's that. Is that your turn? Fuck this guy. That is my turn. All right. Uh, you want to priest number one is still asleep. So, Elazarin. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm just going to Sacred Flame, the one I hit last time. Okay. Pretty, pretty standard shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Next save. Oh, Ew, eight. Hey, <laughs> it takes. Oh, it's another two. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Okay, well. Slowly I'm chipping really, away at this guy. Really good at rolling the same number of boys. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> good job, good job. I got this. Right. And, and that, that, that. Ba, 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 that's all, folks. You haven't polished your okay. gold enough today. This guy, <laughs> kind of annoyed at you. Keep like chipping okay. away at its, at its health pool. Setting him on fire with uh, holy fire. And is going to look at you and he casts Old Person. Ooh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom save or I win these gamers. Mm -hmm. That one incoming. <laughs> That's a 12. You are currently paralyzed. As I your get body, plus six, by the way, game. <laughs> your body goes stiff and you just stand there in place held unable to move barely able to speak all all, all that leaves your mouth is just this, this muttering this just thank god <laughs> <clears throat> and that is his turn daigon you're up i'm gonna since the one i was melee with is now dead thanks to davian i'm gonna mm -hmm. leap over to the one that cast just cast whole person and sure. do a, a, a spear and then a swipe combo but instead of this time like the second hit being a swipe it's me trying to shove my cat claws like in its stomach all right so got your first attack yep so oh, the spear just... is ooh 19 plus that 5 hits. 24 absolutely yep um so that's better eight piercing damage with the spear Need to make a concentration check to see if. Uh... Ah! Wait, oh, dude, <laughs> he just he just passes the fucking con the concentration Damn check. It. Well, now he has to do it again. Eight, and I was like, wait, and but I, this con is yeah. plus two, so he just makes All right. it. And now him. rolling for the claw jab. Mm -hmm. Fuck me! It's the same pattern. That's a nine. Doesn't hit. Sorry. <laughs> All no, right. I didn't put enough force behind it. I expected him to be squishier, so the claw has glanced off. Unfortunate. Oh, it's wow. like the, there's like these patches of snake-like scales that just yeah. a little more resilient than, than normal human skin would be, I guess. All right, that's me done. All right, Kess, you're up now. Jax, you're after this. At least I didn't roll a one in the spear damage. Uh, I'm just gonna use wish bolt again. Yeah, you can just uh, strike it. Yeah, you just roll damage. Doesn't even have to roll to hits, right? Yep. It's just it's I rolled max damage again, so fifteen. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely fucking roast this Yuan T and Roasty Toasty. This Yuan T is also Gonzo. Mate. Who wants snake? Num num num. Absolutely num, fucking num. gone, mate. Nice. Very good. Barbecue. So that's two down, three to go. Can you like wait, was that with Witch Bolt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can like use an action or something to like switch it to someone else or is that how that works? Uh, next no. turn, yeah, because this turn yeah. Yeah. she yeah. was she used it to just. I think it just damage fades, again. doesn't it? I thought you I could don't move know. it. I'll read it's up just, on the No, it's just one target. I'm pretty sure. I'll read up on it. Let me quickly have a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can you can just move it. Um, hold on. Uh, um. Oh no, you're right. Spell move. The spell does. Uh, the spell ends if the target is outside the spell's range or if it has total cover. So with it being dead. Okay. I suppose it, it has exist. total cover from unless the you want to throw the body. Exist from the, it doesn't exist anymore in terms of the spell. So I guess that means the spell dissipates. Yeah. I thought you could move it, but uh, apparently you can't. One of them you that big witch bolt sick. You could. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you can in Baldur's Gate, and that's why I think that you could. I'm pretty sure you I can. There is a spell. I think there's a spell that you does do that. It's like a little bit less damage. But oh, maybe. Lose. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, that was your turn, Kess, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jax. All right. Um, do I want to hit Prom Boy or do I want to help out a Lazarus? <laughs> uh, uh, I'll hit Prom Boy because I get to actually maybe hit with my mace. Okay. Maybe. The one that is being grappled and held prone by maybe. Brooks. Yep. On the I, I gotta hit on this, right? I gotta hit with an 18. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> mm. Shit takes two damage. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. Woo. 
Ooh. Fuck yeah. Big money. I'm out here, boys. Good job. My turn. We did it's your turn. Uh, I mean, the priest that is not is still being held pro now is a turn. Can he like he's is he? He can use his action to attempt to break the grapple. He shall. In that case. Okay, so he can make athletics or acrobatics check contested uh, against me, and I've managed because I'm, like, I'm raising because I'm raging. That's raising. A nine. Raising. Uh, okay, then yeah, I fucking eighteen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Davian. That's his action. <laughs> Get fucked. Yep. So wait, is one standing or is it sleep boy and grapple sleep boy? Sleep boy, grapple prone boy, and there's one still standing, concentrating on hold person on a last. I. For your Lazarin. Oh, that's a twelve to hit. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. It's not free Lazarin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Brooks. I'm assuming that's your turn, right, uh, Duke? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, guess what? What, mate? It's I'm gonna quick. fucking shank the guy in front of me on the floor with my hand axes. Go for it. Uh, dirty twenty to hit on the first one. Yes. Uh, for ten points of slashing damage. Ooh, shit. Okay. Uh, seventeen to hit on the second one. Yes. For four points of slashing damage. All right. Yeah, this guy's also starting to look very rough very quickly. Oh, I want to kill him. Fuck this guy. All right. Uh, you want T on the floor is still asleep. Elazarin, mm -hmm. you are paralyzed. Do I get You're... to make another save? Uh, I believe you can. Yeah, the end of each of your turns. So yeah, make a wisdom saving throw. 14. That is enough. You break <laughs> the spell's effect and are no longer paralyzed, but that is your turn. Um, My boy! <laughs> which means that uh, with the spell now broken, he is going to... You're in melee with him, right, uh, Daigon? I, I am, yeah. Okay. Is okay, 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 okay. I have a quick look at what quick look see at what spells this guy has. Um, it's just gonna try and spit poison in your face. Rude. Uh, con save, toxic. please. Not toxic, poisonous. Wait, Silly. Nope. Same thing. That's a nine. A nine. That is not enough. No. Uh, you take eight points of poison damage. Hey, there's all my temp HP gone. There it goes. Uh, but that is its turn. Mm, Daigon, it is your turn. Try and stab him right back. Okay. Spear and then a kick this time. Fuck. The so spear is a 13 to hit. Just misses. <laughs> and then the kick. God. Fuck. 11. Also misses. I'm sorry. The poison. Dead, the poison is making me wobble. Like part of it, like came. Like, like part of it. It's in my eyes. In your eyes like, ah. like, <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Kess. Uh. I'll. Eldritch blast. Um. The one closest to where I am, I guess. Um. For the sake of this, two of them are prone, which means you will have okay. disadvantage on your range on your spell attack. So you would. Be, be best off Eldritch Blasting the one in melee with Daigon. I'll do that. Okay. Whee. 17. Hits. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, eight. Eight points of damage. Yes. Very good. Is that your turn? Yes. Jax. I am going to hit the guy that he has prone. Okay. Natural 20! Oh, oh, he's gonna do he's four gonna damage! My first kill, guys! Did you do four damage, Maybe. though? Ten damage. Ten damage? You take your mace, right? This is with your mace? Yes. And mace. as Brooks is kind of holding oh. him down, you're just like, 
sick of this shit. And just take your mace and just... <laughs> I'm Squat too old for this. Head like a watermelon. Oh, that's uh, grim. Do I get like full on spray? Yeah, like this, the visceral. Oh, you're, you're, just... you're in the splash zone. You're in the splash zone. Yeah, absolutely. And you ain't got a poncho. <laughs> I do not have a poncho. <laughs> Would someone like to buy me one? All right. Is that your turn, Jax? That, that's my turn. I'm happy. Davian, the only one left that is. Uh, uh, there's two left now. The one sleeping. And the one uh, that is still in melee with uh, Daigon. I'm not going to miss this time. I'm not going to miss this you time. You Jonimus. Yeah, 22 to hit. That hits. <laughs> I don't have a favorite foe anymore, though. So, seven points of piercing damage. This arrow, straight in the forehead. And kind of, like, shoots him backwards a little bit. And he just collapses. Like, smashes his head against the wall behind him. And just... Bye, bruh. So now that remains Dude, Davian is uh, the one sleeping, and since he has nothing to do in his turns, we'll say that we'll stop the initiative order for now. Since, since I'm over there, can I, can, I, can I go tie him up with some rope? Tie, tie up the sleeping one? Up. Absolutely. Are we, are we good night, gentle prince, this one, or are we asking him some oh, questions? Oh, no, we're going well, to ask him some questions. Yeah, we don't have Jeremiah, but maybe if we can... Bring this one we back. Don't, we don't do to. that. We don't mercy kill them yet. We threaten to do that. We don't I'm do quite it. good at that, actually. So, well, then the ball is in your court. But I mean, mm -hmm. we can ask the questions. You stand there with your blades or axe, I guess, to his throat and say, answer it all. Do your best yeah. to leave him one piece, though. I mean, like I said, we don't have Jeremiah, but if we can hand this one over to. True. The authorities, you might still get some. Oh, pay. he seems quite tricksy. That was all. Tricksy little hobbits. Oh no, they had magics and stuff. And, <laughs> and all the, um, okay. and, uh, I mean, you have. Um, oh wait, just a, lot tied of, up a lot of rope. So uh, yeah. plenty of. When rope a minute is up, up, it all thingy up. Yeah. Wait, As then. he's tied up, um, here yeah, the sleep spell fades, and he awakens, looks around, sees his fellow priests dead, and kind of you see his eyes widen. Which causes you to really see the snake-like, reptilian, like, uh, vertical slit uh, in his eyes and, and... Oh, I collect my arrows. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Look, looking around no. at you. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you think you'll get out of me? I mean, just a little bit of information, like, where did you send Jeremiah, for example, would be stellar info to have. To answer to a higher calling. Right? Did you? Is he? Is he dead? Or is he still in this <laughs> no. existence? So he's, you know, can we walk to where he is, or is that, you know, out of the question? Why would I? You're just going to kill me as soon as you're done with me. No, that would be a mercy. Um, we're going to, you know, bring you in, because <laughs> you know information about these going on, some recent attacks that have been happening. I assume they're connected, at least connected to this Jeremiah fellow, and you seem to be a bit more on the know than he was. So. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Or deception if you do plan on killing him. Like, it's up to you. I don't plan on killing him. Okay. Uh, persuasion, 12. 12? Mm-hmm. Let me answer your question with one of my own. Go ahead. You said when they do that. Ugh. How long have you been on his trail? Long enough to know what's going on. Then you know where he got sent. Yes. I I'm going to make sure oh, he can um... see me signing to Kess, like make sure the priest is looking, and sign to Kess. Well, if he's not going to talk, we can always just make sure he can't talk like me and then point to my neck and then look at the guy. Try and look real creepy. Ooh. I'm gonna, he I'm gonna seems sign. very engaged in conversation with Elazarin and doesn't really seem to have any uh, any Darn attention it. for anyone else. Like, Elazarin, the entire time you talk to this to this guy, you can see like his never breaks eye contact. Yeah. 
He doesn't he's... fucking blink either, like a reptile. Oh, he doesn't blink. Like, he's very <laughs> engaging this conversation mm. and has no regard for whatever else is going on in the room. Oh, I mean, I, I'm... Yeah. I, can. I mean... Oh, then. It'll still be useful to authorities. They'll get information out of you one way or another. I mean, do we really want to drag him all the way back? It's a long way. Can't and it's it. worth. I mean... The place he got sent. Yes. It's about a week travel away. Do you really have Inside the time? Check. Okay, hold on. Do you really have the time to go back to your city and turn me in? Well, what happens when he's gone? Mm, okay, week there, week back. We could just tie you up here and then come and pick you up on the way home. I mean. I recommend outside, but uh, you want to inside check the weather, like the, the, just, just the part where he was like talking about the distance, or specifically that is a week's travel away. Um, inside okay, checking yeah, to see sure. if I think he's bullshitting us. I think he's not. I think he knows that we know about the temple. Uh, I got nineteen. Uh, nineteen. He seems. He sounds genuine and truthful. Okay. Okay. You know uh, where he got sent. You know it is far. To the northeast. You also know there's rumblings. There is a gathering, right? I'm sure you've heard if you've been trailing Jeremiah for a decent amount of time. It is a choice. Bring me to your petty justice, or take the week to travel to this place and try and stop what is coming before it departs. Give me one second before I answer. I need to get a map up. Motherfucker, Davian, do you still have your map? He's talking. He's talking about Sekta, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sekthar or Sethkar? I mean, Sekthar. <laughs> Sekthar. Okay. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I'll, I'll pass actually, my you said it's a week away from here, but I mean, we go back to Aldalon, get better travel, go across roads. We use up that type well, two days missing from a week's travel. And then instead of going through the jungle, we skirt around for the most part. So it's probably worth doing rather than trudging the jungle from here. <laughs> Are you sure? That seems well, quite it's... risky in terms of time traveling. Do we really? But do we believe we... it's really going to be ready in a week? What they're saying? We're going off of his information, which I know is do better than Do we really than we have, have any but... guarantee that we're not going to gather and find out that we're already four days late and it's happening in three exactly. days anyway and it's a moot point? We might as well just take yeah. him in. I think I think we take him regardless. Because what else are we going to do? You know, we can kill him, then we just Have move straight I on. Have I said anything during our little conversation that makes you think or believe that I lie? You're... So it's about waiting. There's a difference between lying and you may not even know yourself how long things are going to take. Not knowing yes. and lying are two different things. It's what you believe in. You if insult you truly my believe... intelligence. I don't know. If you truly believe this is what's happening, then you're certainly not lying. It'd be foolish to assume as such from the start, considering we barely know each other. Hmm. And I barely know what's going on with these plans. But you can live all high and mighty if you like, but we'll end up the same. Get the we'll sense that you know a thing or two about high and mighty, don't you? Definitely. Hmm. Mr. DM? Yes. Using my knowledge of maps mm -hmm. and whatnot. Uh, if I went looked to the northeast and, you know, factored in about weeks of travel, where would we end up? From where you are now? Yes. You would, yeah, Sekthar would be a week away. Okay. Everything points to Sekthar. Everything points to Sekthar. That's, a, that's oh. fucking episode title. <laughs> oh. oh. I like that one. It's pretty good. Is that two in a row for me? I don't know. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I don't care what happens to me. Why is that? It's 
on my part of the plan. Made sure little Jeremiah went through his transition. So he could serve Seth properly. What's the significance of Jeremiah in all this? He wanted vengeance, wanted reparations for the way his family got treated by the settlers. We told him we could deliver that, have him play a big part in it, in exchange for some information about the defenses of Eldilon. He delivered. How long Fucked up the people... assassination, but we can fix that mistake. How long have your people been here? Millennia. Why is We're an old not... race. This land I in particular. Go. This land in particular. It's been around long ever since we... the initial creation of this plane hidden away and now revealed by whatever it may have may have caused it to reveal itself and you outsiders claiming land that is not yours you'll soon see if we want to go to the bite. temple, we have to kill him. Two wrongs don't make a right, you know. We can... Peace is an option. In all <laughs> Killing... Well... No, it is not it's really necessary. It, see, it seems there are things set in motion here that we don't really have much control over. Me, if we go north, we have me. to kill him. If we go south... Turn me in. Don't turn me in. My part in this play is done. Realistically, how about we leave him right? here and we discuss out of ears reach? How about we just uh, leave him here? Doesn't matter please. what he is. If we if we leave him here, then we've simply just sentenced him to a different form of death. We're not going to either that or well, we put ourselves in danger. Our own people, and in which case he knows enough about us yes, that he might be he able to, to want even faster than we would. We oh, just fucking saw know he's a magic no snake man. Magic. Same and we know that we doing. know that these snakes will know the jungle better than us. Um, if we head north and it takes us a week, he can send people after us. Who has the highest pass perception us. again? Yes, right. Uh, yes. Mine's fifteen. Mine's fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Right. So you see this as you're all discussing. You can see him kind of moving in his ropes. As you can see, his arms begin to transform from normal humanoid arms into this like oh, slithering snake, and he seems to be wiggling himself out of his ropes. And you cast uh, that as with your ridiculous best perception. <laughs> I want to. Can I throw a dagger at him? You can certainly try. Okay, I'm just gonna. Like, throw I would say a he's tied probably, up. This you, you, sat, you sat him down, right? Yeah, uh, he's not standing he's up. I'm cool. assuming. So I would say that you have disadvantage with the throw. But he's tied up, though. Yeah, but I. But mm, is he starting to get free? He's not, not prone. prone. He's not prone. Okay, not. fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's just a chat. Uh, 17 to hit. Hits. Uh, five damage. Okay. As he kind of like wiggles, you just chuck the dagger and kind of like clip him in, in the arm that has turned into a snake and he just. Kind of like, whoa. Oh. Gonna, like, kick him in the face. What's Real. the What's the most Ooh. humane way to kill a snake? Beheading. Cut the head off. And then off. That we, I can, I'm assuming we will notice at this point that yeah. he's what? trying to yes. escape. Test I can do that in one go, but can I just can I just cut his throat with a short sword? Can I stop him? You can both certainly try. I, okay. Yeah. If I okay. see, if I will. I will attempt to draw a short sword sword. and go to. If I see Davin go with short sword, I'm just going to turn my back. Okay. Uh, Jax, how do you uh, intend to stop him? I want to like, as he's pulling it out of his sheath, trying like stop his hand. Okay. So like, as he unsheaths his short sword, you kind of like put yeah. your hand on his on his hand. Is that what you do? Yeah. Okay. Then I mean, I'll stop myself. Yeah. I, I think I, we need to let him go. 
he's changed into a fucking snake right in front of us. Yes, well, I mean, we have him tied up. I don't blame the man. Why you... do you want to let him go? I have one question for you. You are new to this, aren't you? New to what? Is this, uh, is this mercenary thing or something? I'm assuming that's what you are. Typically, mercenaries don't really care much about the fate of the thing that they that they hunt or capture. Why do you well, care so much what happens to little old me? Well, we weren't hunting you. I did try to say we could just walk our separate ways earlier. <laughs> I mean, you know, it will. I've lived like with I people said, for seven years now. My deeds are done. Just kill me and get it over with. If you turn me in, I'm just going to kill myself the first chance I get anyway. Just finish me off. I will uh, this pass my sword to Jax. And, and squabbling bores me. Good. I hope it does. Jax, if you don't want to do it, then I will. But he's you just going to be something else we have to fight motion. later. I want to start dragging him towards the stairs. No. Why, why are we dragging him outside, Jax? And as he's at the stairs, mm -hmm. I'm going to untie his arms. Oh my god. Okay. And let him go. If he starts making a break for it, I am going to shoot him. He looks at you. <laughs> you are not the smartest of the bunch, are you? Oh, bite him. Ooh. And he <laughs> puts his hands like around your neck, and his hands turn into these small snakes that all start wrapping, wrapping around your neck. Can I shoot him? Closing it off, uh, just like choking you. Yeah, you can shoot him. Was it with this sucker? Fuck you have a thing about your early characters as well. Dude. Like 24 or something to hit. That hits. What? He's like, getting choked out randomly by 11 points of <laughs> piercing damage. 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, Brooks, you're mm -hmm. throwing an axe? 30, 20. That hits. Uh, eight points of flashing them. Uh, as the arrow and the hand axe both like hit him in the head. I'm thud. The, the, just the the grip loosens and he collapses as he's has, as he's dead. I walk over. Jax, I fucking I think you're a brilliant person. However, that was fucking stupid. I'm gonna pick well, up my dagger. We had no reason to kill him. He well, fucking the, tried the, to the, kill us. He tried to yeah. kill you when you let him out. He asked yes, us to well, kill him for fuck's sake. We did come into one of their. That's sick. three fairly Temples. good reasons to kill him. He asked us to kill him, and he tried to can kill us. Can we at least trespass? Can we at very least use this as a fucking learning experience? And next time we have <laughs> one of these snake motherfuckers that has tried to kill us, just fucking kill him when we're done. Uh, I want a little bit more information about Jacks living with snake people for seven years. Well, I didn't live with the snake people. I've been on the island for seven years. But have you interacted with them much? Well, in harmony? Here and there, I am a tradesman. No, but you also, Davian, know that there are definitely tribes of Yuan-Ti that have accepted the colonists and have oh, okay, right, relationships right. with. Yeah, so like, there's, there's definitely... It's, I don't... Not, it's not all Yuan-Ti hate outsiders. There's just mm, this, like, vocal okay. collection Minority. of certain tribes that are now seemingly starting to fight to fight back, whereas a, a bunch of them... A bunch of tribes, especially the ones that live closer to the the settled areas, have found a way to, to live in harmony. That is not uncommon. Hashtag not all you, Auntie. Yeah. Jack, yeah. so I, I understand your empathy for the more, shall we say, welcoming of the you, Auntie, but um, maybe your, your judge of character might need a little bit of a polish. You, there isn't good in everything. I hang out with the rest of you and we barely know each other. I mean... I haven't that tried doesn't to really you. help your argument, Jax. Uh, that's I, fair. I don't I know about the rest of these ones, but I am. In the middle of the night, and I'd be dead. I... Right. Okay. But if on if when we first met, I shot you and then tried to slit your throat in the night, I don't think you'd give me another chance. Uh, this guy just had his hands around your neck, and you still seem well, pretty depends. livid that we were killed. Were you trying to feed a starving family, or? I mean, I don't think he was exactly trying to feed a starving family. I think it was just a revolution that doesn't exist. I, I know he won't understand, but I just, in sign language while looking at Jax, just sign, I think you're stupid, but I understand. See, there isn't Dagen agrees good. with me. I, you <laughs> have no idea what she's saying. sign language that you don't know. I have not told you what she said. <laughs> I know, and I'm just taking it my way. 
I, she understands when, that we are not necessarily in the moral high ground. When she when she signed, she said, but okay. when she signs, I look straight at uh, Kesson. What, what, <laughs> what did she say? That's, that's, that she said she thinks it's stupid. Yeah, oh, to right. tell you this, Jax, but well, there's no the fucking. Thing, really. There's, there's no. no such thing as a moral high ground. They tried to kill us. No. Leaving him alive yes, was stupid. Exactly. But why? Because, because we, we invaded their island. You could go about this all day. So you just suggest that we take every other humanoid Because we trespassed into a temple. They're at fault because the they drove us here to off. get information. Well, they didn't drive us oh, here. No, we no, came no, here no. on a contract that's completely different. So, okay. So, oh, wait, let's okay. Let's if we try and look at this objectively, we're here as we're here as mercenaries. Even he called us mercenaries. We're here to find Jeremiah. We just watched this individual and his fellows turn Jeremiah into a snake and disappear into the fucking sky. We tried to approach them amicably. You did your best. They were not having it. At the end of the day, if we let him go, he gets ahead of us, he sends warning, they're prepared when we show up at the temple to find Jeremiah. I mean, I think they're probably going to be pretty prepared anyway. I mean, are we just heading straight there, or are we going back? I mean, no, we're heading there now, we've got nothing to take back with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going no straight there? Mm -hmm. Realistically, uh, if we head back and then come back to it, we're fucked. If we head straight there from now, we're probably it's fucked, it. but there's still a chance we're not <laughs> fucked. <laughs> So it's, oh, do you want to be completely boned, or do you just want at 80-20? I could listen to I Ethan. mean, we could just I say, could we could just... fucked in this Irish accent. I'm not, go <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When you said fucked, I just assume you're going to say hand stuff as the other option. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Look, we, we, could, we could just say, fuck all of this. We won't go to the temple, and we'll just fuck off to the other side of the continent and let whatever massive snake army is going to tear up Elder yeah. yeah. in due time. I feel well, like sure that's, too many, completely that's too many prepared. innocent lives you're putting at risk there. Not I'm sleeping not in the fucking jungle without getting paid. I mean, we need to at least see this story. Truly, Elijah, and who's to decide who's more innocent here? No, innocence Us. on both sides. It'd be a slaughter from everything. Unnecessary death. We don't need a hand on either side, we could just go. We're not, Regardless we're of the our hand decides in the middle moral ground. stance on whether or not it was a good idea ground. to fucking bring different fucking settlers over here can we all unanimously agree that some sketchy fucking snake god sounds like a bad idea regardless of whether we're in the right yeah. or not i mean yes, in which case i don't care if they're morally right that we came and the the people moved and came and settled here i don't have any problems if they want to voice that disagreement you know let the powers that be fucking deal with that my disagreement is that they're trying to summon some sketchy fucking snake god that's the thing that... Well, do we even know they're trying to summon it? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know if they're summoning a snake god or what. They clearly like the guy, though. I mean... We have no they idea. Do... I would love to go to they a do... library and try to figure out more I'm, about I'm gonna, this thing. I'm gonna sign to cast out or gesture at the group asking, um, I'm like, while I agree, like, they... This is their land. Like, their grievance is real. They are going about it in the wrong way and going to hurt innocents who had no say... In what happened to them, that's the problem. I'll repeat what she said to Baden. Mm -hmm. We it's have no pretty fucking spot on with that one. Mm -hmm. Right. We've been thrown into the deep end, say, with one people saying this, the other people saying that. I... Who are we to decide who is in the right? My main. I... I... You try to be. You, you try to talk to them. You try to see what they're fucking deal yes, was and well, they tried to kill us i think that's doing. pretty fucking fair i don't feel the need really to be in the right I'm, i don't understand I'm not, i don't we, i don't think we need to be in the right i'm just trying to look out for my best interest honestly i mean end of the day when we go to this temple if we go to this temple which i assume we will be knowing us we're it's going to be a, a slaughter I'm not saying that we're going to take them all on but we, the natural fact is they're very defensive. They hate anyone who's not them. And they protect their lands. And we're going right into the middle heart of it all. Trying to stop whatever this is. It's a loss of life that's unnecessary, but I... I feel like it probably needs to be done for the greater good. And... I'll... Honestly, 
I'm more curious to know who the fuck Jeremiah's mother is. I'm... <laughs> and also, they said they weren't... Um... Thingy oh, very was. well. They weren't... They weren't... Treated very well. But didn't she leave on her own accord, according to the records? And Well, I know that's verbatim saying... We don't know what the full story is, but from the likes it, she didn't stay long. She left very quickly. I mean, she could be dead. Record. Very much so. Pro you know what, Which would make knowing. more sense to me for someone to want revenge on the person I think who killed. It seems like all killed. roads lead to Sektar regardless. I, I think she probably, we're left to sister to find start her own place or find somewhere and was probably killed by someone on the road or a stranger. You know, just because it's a random person, they now want revenge for it. I think at the very um, least, okay. we, we need what to I'll head say... where we're going. We need to figure out what's happening there, and then we'll make decisions once we're there and once we've got more information on it. But as a general rule, if someone tries to fucking kill us and we manage to get them in a position where they're restrained, I really don't sit well with letting them free, because yeah, yeah. case in point, they're going to fucking try and kill us again. We extract information, and at this point, we're so deep in the jungle, we can't give them the jurisdiction. So it looks like we are the law when it comes to these things now. We have to make that case there. I also am going to sign to Kess. Huh. I'll, huh. I'll sign to Kess, and again, a gesturing for her to translate. Which, by the way, implicit agreement between us, because anytime I do that, you're not obligated to translate no. for me, but just making sure. Um, <laughs> uh, saying... Besides, you speak of, and this is directed at Jax, uh, you speak of your best interests. Your fancy trinkets are probably expensive. We were promised something beyond gold if we do this. Think about maybe you'll get a new fancy trinket. I will repeat that the verbatim. I have no reason to change it. <laughs> yes, well, what they value and what I value are probably very different. I'm sure if you ask nicely she'll give you some fucking armor or something. Can we, oh, right, just real quick to uh, Dutch, can we just be walking and talk? Like, are we leaving? Yeah. Are we walking yeah. and talking? Towards, are we getting out of here? Yeah, like, we've been like heading out, out at, least. at this point, okay. at this point, we've, we've probably been walking out of the temple. Yeah, yeah. Like, we've walked out of the temple. Probably, probably like, like where all those pillars are. We're doing that thing. You know when you're on the phone, you start walking around, just kind of aimlessly, <laughs> yeah. kind of doing that like weird sort of just like... Oh, did we drop signal for a second? Um... Huh? Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Put it, um, putting your put, like <laughs> yeah. sort of doing a weird squat on the stairs, and then yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, top. Jax, why are you here? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, a bit fucking. Harsh. Brooks is a good guy. By the way, mm. I pick up my rope that I used to tie him up. I'm sure. taking it before we leave. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. I've been looking to find people of similar interest or people I could learn from. I've done many things in my life and this group presents a unique opportunity. What on earth could you learn from that guy winning at Brooks? <laughs> well, he does drink very well. He throws axes remarkably you, well. You also have to put it to him. He's a charismatic bastard. Everybody just Everyone does fucking... love him. It's a bit fucking harsh. You you wound me for someone that was all smiles and blushes when we got fucking thrown at each other. Well, when you put your hand there, what am I meant to do? It wasn't <laughs> fucking purpose. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I feel very listen, I'm just around. asking oh, Jack because it seems like we're going to be running into our fair share of snake people that will need killing, unfortunately. And I'm not saying I'm against it, as you've seen. I did, of you course, know, makes that man's head smash like a watermelon. Right. Yes. <laughs> While he was completely um, unable to move. <laughs> without how dare you try to rob me? <laughs> no, I'm not robbing you. I'm not. I'm belt. not robbing you. Of your glory, I'm just saying that you didn't seem to have much issue murdering a man who was completely incapacitated two minutes before you tried to let the other guy go. There's a difference. Yeah, so. well, the other one seemed willing to talk, so... He literally told us that he wanted to fucking die. And that all right, it, all right, let's not go didn't... back there. Let's not go back there. Anyways. We got everything out of him. <laughs> We're moving on. I'm right. just trying to... All I'm trying to say is we're going to go to, to Seth... Seth... Bar, hopefully. <laughs> And we're going to see what's going on. And our, we're not, diplomacy is yeah, not yeah. going to be an option. It's a shame. I like 
I hope the diplomacy is an option with their leader at least. At least try and find who the leader is and get something. I would something. very much like to get paid, and I would like to see this through. And I'm more than willing to try a diplomatic yeah. angle when we get there, but if it goes to shit, I want to know that everyone has no grievances with doing it. what needs Even to be done. Given what just went down, I don't think if we should go to the front door and say, excuse me, can we have Jeremy? No, no, no. Oh, I, 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 no oh, it's I, definitely I, going to be... Uh, <laughs> Oh, 100 cents, it's not going to be dead match from the start. We're going to go in all guns blazing. No, we're going to go in, knock down that door, weapons blazing and all that. But, midway through, if you can be found. weapons on fire. Uh, it's a, again, it's a. You people. Dance. I guess my father. I guess my father What's was a weird gun? one with this. <laughs> I changed it to fucking weapons. Fuck you. <laughs> well, actually. Yeah. Actually. I... <laughs> what I think it comes down to is. Right here. Yeah. Are we all morally okay with the fact that we're gonna have to not let people go? Because if not, then maybe this isn't the right excursion, Jax. Like, I enjoy having you around, but if you want to let everyone go, it ain't gonna be pretty or fun for you. I mean, he did smash that guy's head in with a mace. I'm just seems pretty okay with it. So I'm just saying maybe we should take a little thought. I would, would I mean, argue right that... There. <laughs> I mean, we did have Davian pick up a statue and trigger a fucking flying... Okay, okay, okay. Hey. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I didn't know... Listen, we were in that tunnel before and I found some gemstones under a tile. I found a little statue under a tile. It seems weird that they would keep all the things... gemstones under a tile. No, they weren't worth that much. It's not a big deal. Um, you still could have fucking told us. I told Elazarin. <laughs> oh yeah, because that makes it so much fucking better. Anyway, it's just, I, mean, I, I was like, well, is maybe oh, these snake people just like to hide things <laughs> under floor tiles. That's all I'm saying. No. Just... Well, you do seem to share basically everything. Like, he's proven to be trustworthy. If the tents are rocking, lads, Unlike you. don't come a-knocking. How have I proven to be dishonest? Oh, I didn't mean it like that, I just meant like... Oh, like oh, could longer. it, sorry, could it be the part that you dragged the snake man and untied him and tried to let him go until he don't nearly strangled you to death? Me. <laughs> you, I. Uh, all I'm saying, Jax, is it's a bit hypocritical to ask people to put more thought into it, and then try and do that without discussing it with anyone and be somewhat surprised oh, when he tries to fucking choke like you out. Devian. Oh no! You sound really like one us. of my fucking exes. Oh, I thought you'd tell me not to go when I fucking walked away. <laughs> We're just That's striding through the works. jungle. <laughs> There's like baboons watching from the trees. <laughs> They're all just like yelling at and each other as we walk. They're... While they're having that last um, exchange, I just signed to cast. Maybe we don't know. Maybe he just likes being choked. Let Snake Man go to get fucking strangled out. <laughs> oh. Right. So. Oh, is this while, like, where are you going? We're walking towards the second oh. unless, okay. unless Jack's like abruptly stops. We're oh, yeah. hey, going to start walking please. towards Sekthar. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're traveling yeah. towards Sekthar. Cool. And I'm yeah. hacking Why? through the undergrowth. Okay. <laughs> Um, so bug, pretty bug, much bug, uh, bug. A, a pretty big part of the day ahead of you. Mm. Aye. Um, as you travel uh, through the thick jungle, Ooh. you suddenly start smelling a pungent, almost cheesy scent. Ooh. Oh, fuck, Jack's put your shoes back on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> and as you kind of keep going, it becomes more and more pungent until Ooh. you wander upon a bright pink pool kind of sitting in the shade. Undo. A, this, a bright pink pool that smells of cheese? <laughs> yes. Pink fondue, baby. Um, Have we heard of anything like this? Can I find a stick on the ground? Mm -hmm. And I'll just kind of poke it. <laughs> it's like a Elijah. long stick. And just... As you poke it. Yeah. What's going uh, sticky? Oh no, what's wrong, Sticky? It's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> As you poke it, it seems that uh, the water underneath this pink surface is just normal water. And As you remove the stick, it seems that there's this this, this pink is it's it's almost like pink um, uh, al algae. Is that how you pronounce that word? Yeah, okay. algae, algae, yeah. algae, whichever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I know what it is by yeah, looking nature, at it? Roll nature check. If can I like lift it up, does it like oh. obviously some of it falls off, but does it, like quite a bit of it stick? Does it look like it's all like one big thing or is it like loads of little bits, if that makes sense? Like if I lift uh, it, does it look a like, one big mass or is it like No, it's like you lift a little bit out. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this before. On the nature check. Sorry, how much? A nine. 
You know that in the right hands, this is an ingredient in uh, the creation of healing potions. Pink algae. Ooh. Stock oh. <laughs> what we have here is pink algae. He's been assigned to cast no okay. shit. An algae or algae? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> um, well, I mean, you just described it... the color and the substance. It's not an actual name. I mean, like, like, I'm gonna, I I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit. Mm -hmm. The beast for that is just. Yeah. Just gonna <laughs> little, little, little taste of the pink algae. Long nibble. Bitter. Yeah. Mm. Um, not, not good at all. Like just very bitter. Ooh, um, does not taste like cheese. It does not taste like cheese. No. No. I don't um, suppose there's any alchemists the... among us. No, not off my fault. I, I made a little bit, but not much. I have two empty vials on me. One oh, from no. an old healing potion and one from the yeah. poison that I now emptied, like, before. Can I fill those my two empty vials with some of the algae? Just to keep? Yeah. Maybe sell later? You could. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Does Davian tell the rest of us that it's used for mm -hmm. healing potions? Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. Mr. Mr. Oh, Tiger, Ranger you, could Man. Read, could you read my mind? If we skim the out off the top, is this drinkable? I was actually about to ask the same thing. Is the I'm... water beneath it clean? Again, the same rule applies. Uh, jungle I water, mean, probably a good idea to distill or, or clean. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's clean or not. I can make it clean. I would rather, well, I mean, I, I know... Pink algae can have some kind of healing properties, but I don't know how it is in this state. I'm not sure I'll be comfortable. Top of the surface. And how big's the, the pool? Uh, this pool, um, it's it's not very big. It's like it's like um, <sighs> fuck would feet, say, dude, straight up. It's you, like it's like a very big me, like puddle. puddle. Would you say it's say about five foot? Uh, yeah, something like that. Perfect. Josh, you said you wanted to skin the algae off the top. Well, I mean, Daigon's uh, already uh, filled uh, up two vials worth of this 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 pink algae. Do you algae. have anything to store it in? Don't need to store it. Just get it off the water so we can clean the water. Well, he can clean the water in a minute, well, no, but I'm worried that that it's going to disappear. Like yeah, I'm, I I think Jax wants to keep the algae before all of it. Lazarin cleans it. Well, oh, yes, of course. I mean, if it's a potion ingredient, we could sell it. But, I mean, if you have something we're to keep it in, do you have anything to keep it in? I mean, I, I, I hold up the two empty vials I already took, but the, and the, I don't have empty anymore. Sign, well, I, so the two now vials of big algae, <laughs> and I signed a kiss, so I don't have any more, but if others no. have some. I've oh, got a mess tin, but. I mean, this I is mean, going to bloody true. kill me to do. We all have one. How. Oh, yeah. Everyone has Brooks. at least one. Brooks, how, how quick are you at drinking? I hold up the bottle of Merlot I've got. <laughs> I hold up the half a bottle it. of Dwarven Damn whiskey it. I've got. Okay, well, no, 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 this is a really, really bad idea. <laughs> this yeah. wasn't about a drinking competition, I was just, I didn't want to, let's put it back down. That's how we're so... Um, Devian. We're all, oh, no, 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 we're already rationing water and alcohol will not do us any favors. So either pour yeah, it out. What I'm suggesting. Well, no, but I feel algae like they're either about survive. to start chugging so we have storage room or, or <laughs> yes. you know, and that would be nonsense. I'm pouring out this mellow. Um... Do you know if the potion ingredient needs to be dried or if it has to stay in its algae form in the water? Uh, would I Mr. know? DM, do I know if the algae would need to be dried or in I goop? would consider alchemy a more an arcana. Yeah, that's... So I, wait, I think so that's what I know idea. then? So anyone that has a proficiency in Arcana, I do. Roll an Arcana S check. Sm smile, Yay. smile face. This is actually just Faye bubble bath. Oh my god. Twenty-five. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, this algae would indeed be dried and then ground up in a mortar uh, in a mortar and pestle uh, to like a dust before okay. put in the rest of the ingredient batch. Well, let's skin the algae off, okay, pull it out, stinks. and we can have it dry in my bag. In Dry in your bag? Uh, like, on top of dry. it. It'll dry in the sun. I think you could, like, put it on top of your hat. It. You could put it on top of your hat and make a camouflage. No, you, okay, wait, wait, wait. You could put it in your hat. And then we'll, we'll just... Like, take it off. Yeah, oh. on, on... Maybe. We'll turn around. We'll have to take it out. 
We in just worry about drying it once we've got back to the city. And mm -hmm. for now, we just well, keep it yeah, in something. Yeah, but we something. can carry more if we just pull it all off it. No. Well, now you say yeah, so that, we, we, we know where it is. We could just come back and get it. Maybe more will have grown back. But I would like a Lazarin to clean the water so that we can have a bath and drink from we're, it. And, you we're know. in a rainforest. We'll find water. Like it's a jungle. It was a, it was a good sized puddle. It, it, it's a perfectly sized puddle, but we do not have the means to deal with all of this fucking algae right now. We can find a river, we can find... Well, we can't clean a river, but we, it's fat, it's flowing water, it tends to be cleaner. We can wash in the river, probably don't drink from the river, but we, I'm just... We, we'll have, have other we, options. Have we seen other, like, puddles as we've been walking, bitch? Um, uh, yeah. There's, okay. like, small little, and like, again, puddles with that, and ponds. Yeah. And, yeah. With that background trait I have, as long as we're still in an environment that would offer water, which there has to be for animals to survive, mm. I can find it. Yeah. There you go. Well then, okay, why don't we just come back here on our way back? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I, I'll mark it on my map. While we're talking about path, Davian is our resident guide man. Mm. Is it better for us to stick to the jungle this entire time or cut up towards New Daramoth and scope? Are we going to be faster if we scope around the edge? or? I'll, I'll, I'll defer to you, Dutch. I mean, what what um, what would be the best answer here? Cut to the road. Brooks wouldn't know this, but Davian might. Davian yeah. would know that even if you cut to the road, uh, there's going to be a point where you have to be into the jungle anyway. So by the time that the time that you save, quote unquote, it doesn't matter much because if you now go directly northeast, like a direct line to where you yeah. have to be, or like go around, sure, it's the like, same amount take, of time. Take, it might you be take safer. longer because you go like around but you travel a little faster the, the parts of the travel that you yeah. aren't in the jungle at the end of the day doesn't really matter it's, it's about net so it's neutral. choice that yeah. we can uh, in, in, ter in terms of time it's, it's, it's probably going to be about the same it, we might even be a little faster through the jungle but is it, it, is, is it worth going around the outside so that we could if needed up into one of the settlements on the way it would be a source of water as well as that's all I'm thinking, that maybe on the way through, if we need to get potions and such. Weeks travel, I only have um, I'm, left. I'm going to sign to um, Daigon uh, about uh, we could get supplies from pretty much any of the settlements around here. From the... I'll sign back, true, I'm out of poison, need more. If we need to make stops along the way, then yeah, it'll it, it wouldn't cost us too much time to take the road. Is that plus? Is it possible that we could at least try and get some some horses or something that would then speed it up? Horses are very expensive. We wouldn't be able to bring horses into the jungle, and what Jack said. So at that point, what we bring horses to the tree line and tie them up, and what like lizard folk come and eat them in the night. Maybe Just you could a tame a shoebill stork to ride. <laughs> The fuck is a shoe bill stork? It's a ride that's a very light bird. I mean, they're only about four it, foot it, tall. It, it, you it definitely couldn't a, ride one. It was more of a joke. Oh, ah. Uh, what was that? Pity laugh. All right, then let's head right. east to the road and we're try and head... find a settlement on the way. All right. I guess we're going to try and dip into. Fuck, um, Ethan. As you, if you cut straight east. Mm -hmm. uh, which I, I assume you do. Yeah. Um, get to the road. Uh, you end up on the road uh, to Southwold, Ooh. which uh, you would probably be able to reach oh, oh. to reach Southwold uh, okay. by nightfall. I thought we were much more north than we are. No, sir. No, no we're Ooh. not very far. Very That's why it's a weak there. travel. Yeah, because yeah. like on this map that you have, the province looks pretty big. But if you look at the actual like map of Agrand, Keldar is like one of the smallest provinces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's very small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of the others. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we should, do we go? Do we go to Southwold or do we go to New Dharma? Do, do any of us know anything? Have any of us been to Southwold? I mean, no, that's um, why I've, I've been there. Question for for Bell because I don't think I've seen the our our map with the the X's on it. Is there one in Southwold? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, okay, there is. Then yeah, we can. Then I'm good to go there. Yeah. I mean, there's also one in New Dharma. Oh, that I mean, one I figured have. it's a bigger city. I was just wondering if yeah. it's the, 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 I mean, there are, there are so symbols in both of them. Okay. This is the problem as well. Is that I mean technically and Devin have business in Southwold. We can we can, we can definitely hit it up on the way back. Any barns on fire on the way. 
Yeah. We can definitely Is hit up Southwold on, on the way back if you guys no, have shit to do. To... I'm just thinking that maybe would Southwold have somewhere like a like a potion store or somewhere that sell a poison? When I was there at Southwold, did I? It's a smaller like it's it's not okay. a city, but it is a town. It has some shops uh, with like but... the more basic uh, potions and stuff are available for sale. Yes. Yeah, it's more, well, maybe it's more basic rather than anything. To probably could get something for it, but again, it's not. Uh... So maybe we just rest in Southwold and then try and stock up in New Dharmouth. Mm, why do we just go straight to New Dharmouth? Why go to? Why do we make it there in one day? We we can we can be in Southwold by the night. I don't think we'll make it. To but New either way, if we head straight to New Dharmouth, we're still going to have to pass through Southwold on this road. So yeah, it's a and case we'll, get, of, we'll get to Southwold yeah. about nightfall. So, 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 then, so we, can we either camp in the streets of Southwold or we camp and get a room in Southwold. <laughs> yeah, it well, seems that even like... if you were, if like, just for a, a ge geographical, whatever the fuck, geographical, geographic. Holy fuck, dude! My brain turned off. <laughs> Words. Um, but imagine speaking English. At this point, I was like, you have multiple languages. At this point, Southwold. Like, the only way to avoid Southwold at this okay. point is to go straight through the jungle and straight line to the New Dharmouth. Yeah. But that'll take Which you several already, days before you even get there. So We've already left. So. For any little reason not to go to Southwold. Yeah, okay. just from a, Unless anyone has a reason a they don't want to go to Southwold. Yeah. Other than the only reason not to go to Southwold is we can get... We want to uh, go to Southwold. I mean, the only reason we don't go is because we can get wrapped up in business there and it delays us. We will... Stay you the night. We'll completely. No, right? We will ignore anything I mean, else that happens. I'm, I won't even go out drinking. Priest. I won't even go out drinking. You, you can and turn down work. We'll set off in the morning. <laughs> you see, you see that you you turn down drinking. You see that that's just like, fucking hell, fucking. <laughs> this is serious now. Okay. <laughs> so we stay the night. We set off early in the morning. Once we've had something to eat, Sounds we good. gather a few more rations. We get better supplies in Darmouth, and then we. Crack on through the jungle, I guess. Harder in the head more than fucking it's jungle remedy. Yes, definitely more jungle remedy. Look, I enjoy a good drink, but fuck me, I don't want to spend three weeks of my life trudging through the fucking jungle to get paid. I'd rather yeah, just get it over and done with, and then once we're done, we can chill out. I'll just sign to Kess, and then figure, like, plus we are on, we have a week time limit. Yeah. Well, we we assume we don't really know. I wanted to ask if there was, if he had any genuine understanding of the time scale. He just said it would take us a week to get there, and we didn't have very much time. We could. Uh, I'll sign maybe... to cast a gesture to the group that he seemed to genuinely. I got the sense he genuinely believed it would be a week's travel for us. Yeah, and, yeah, like, but why is he it? Lie a, about it? Is it? A, no, no. I believe that it's a week's travel. But are we gonna get there and find that we're three days fucking oh, late? I see. Yeah. I see. We know how long it'll take us to get there. We don't know how long we have. I, be I believed him. I well, wanted to know how yeah. long we had I mean, in terms well, we, of well, we have you know scope. two months. You know, we get there in a week, and it's barely just fucking begun. But then someone. What I was just to about to recommend away. is that we could maybe com commandeer carts in Southwold, and then Are we talking... stash it at New Dark. Dutch. Hello. The I know the. the High Seas Protectors mm -hmm. uh very based in um Coastal Cities probably Adlon. Correct. Do they uh, tend to travel anywhere like inland at all? No. Okay. They are, I tried. They are the navy and they yeah. are where there is water, where there is ocean. Okay. That is where they have authority inland, they have no authority at all. Okay. So no more than, no, more, no more than like your average town guard would, I guess. But even then, it's like, you know, that's they like know uh, not your jurisdiction. That's like you know, an army off, like an army officer going to the fucking air force and pretending like he's in charge. Like that's, that's a bit weird, mate. You know what I mean? Like, as long as nobody's going to have any moral obligations with it, I can definitely get us a, a cart somehow. Well, probably we if there's a cart there, cart from the right people. As in, like, like rob some poor farmer. Right. We'll, well, we'll probably farmers in the new world tend to be making quite a bit of scratch. But... We'll probably bring it back. Right. We'll just stash it at the next city over. It'll Why don't we just have a look when they get there? And if I see a good, reasonable chance where I can pick one up, I'll pick one up and you guys just 
Don't ask any questions. Agreed. Perfect. That. Agreed. Yeah. Let's go. So, as long as you don't hurt anyone. For the sake I promise of, you I won't uh, hurt anyone that doesn't deserve it. For the sake of it. brevity, because we Someone are getting towards the end of uh, our session. So you decide, yes, we're going to Southwold and we're going to spend the night yes. there, correct? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you enter Southwold. Elazrin, you know that Southwold has one tavern um, yeah. called the Solid Crow. Mm -hmm. um, is that where you lead your uh, and be compatriots? Where I think people... As you yeah, enter so the Solid place. Crow Tavern, at this point, uh, it, getting late in the evening, um, behind the bar is a red-skinned tiefling, uh, a girl, woman, uh, with long brown hair, dressed in brown clothing, and uh, she looks at you. Good evening, welcome to the Solid Crow, how can I help you? Are you looking for rooms? You look tired. Three rooms. Three rooms. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming uh, two, uh, two beds in a room, or do yeah. you share a bed? Yeah. Or two, well, two I, don't know about... I look at a Lazarin and da and Davy. <laughs> yeah, I look at I look at <laughs> Jackson Brooks. I don't know about these two, but um, <laughs> yeah, we'll need twin beds. Okay. Um... Even if I was so inclined, do you really think anyone could share a bed with that fucking giant of a man? Oh, you okay, saying well, you couldn't, like, rooms available. You couldn't slump you, over his uh, chest and cuddle him in the night? Time I don't really care about, but. Um... Three rooms for the night uh, would run you about. Uh, but we have rooms left, and it's close to closing time, so I'll cut you a little deal. One gold for the three rooms total for the night. One gold on the counter. Thank you very much. Um, there'll be breakfast served tomorrow morning, um, included in the room price. Here's your keys. Uh, upstairs, the first three doors on the left. Did she say what her name was? She didn't. You can ask. Okay, just make sure. Um, you can ask. I wanna, I wanna have a look and see if I can find a, a lotus sign anywhere. Um, make a perception check. Did you say the solid crow? Can I? I'll do the same thing. Uh, yes, the solid crow. Uh, nineteen. <laughs> um, inside the establishment. Thing. Yeah, like just basically all no. around. Okay. Interesting. I'll just um, sign to Kess if I, because I, I can kind of see her like looking around. Um, we can use the, we could try the code phrase when the group's asleep. Um, I'm gonna send back. It won't work here. It's not here. We'll need to go on a walk. I just nod. Okay. So with that, uh, do you all retreat to your rooms for the night? Mm -hmm. I would like yeah, to yeah. catch up with too, Dagon and Cass. Dagon specifically, but... Okay. I am... A... I, oh, I'm assuming you're both together. Yeah, we're just yeah. getting ready. Okay. Whatever our pre-bed ritual is. It is Dagon, keep I know your... bags down and stuff. <laughs> Dagon, I know that you're fairly stealthy when Nobody steps on your tail. So, um, you want to go for a wander and have a look, see if we can see any carts? Ooh, I'll come. Yeah, and I'll I'll nod at that and nod it towards Kess, implying I want her to come with us. I don't have any complaints about that. We enjoy Let's good not. company. Hmm. Okay. Let's go on a as walk. As long as everyone... Yes, so I'm you three go plant. on a walk. Um, yeah, gonna... we're just gonna go as for a bit leave, of a stroll. Though, mm -hmm. As we leave the tavern, I want to look around the front facade of the building, like door windows above the. Like, if there's again a, a lotus symbol or Can anything. Check. Fuck, that's terrible. Um, I 13. think Dagon can smell something. <laughs> What's your roll? Uh... 13. As far as you can see, you don't see a symbol outside of the tavern okay. as, well, as well. I'm, I'm going to, while we're going through the town, I'm going to look at all the other door frames and stuff for, for a symbol. Intrigue. Okay. Mm. Um, you two seem uh, really fucking sorry, on edge. Bit my tongue. Both very, uh, <laughs> uh make a perception very check. Twitchy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we haven't done anything illegal yet, right? 22. 
22. As you kind of look around this initial square, uh, you do also glance at the door frame of the tavern that you just left, and mm. whereas Diagon failed to yeah. see uh, nice. a symbol, you see on the inside of like a, one of the beams that has like that has a door attached to it is a small lotus carved in okay. the beam. So it is, cool. it is the tavern. I'll... Okay. okay. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell. Okay. Diagon. Is this like a drug then? Like what? Yeah, and I'll just, I'll I... just say we'll, no, no. And I'll just say we'll hit it on the way back. They just play pie show. Well, hit, I hate hit to admit it, but uh, I do sort of feel left out when you two are doing that. <laughs> um, I'll just sign to cast and tell him we're just taking in the scenery. We're not from here. Um, I'll repeat that verbatim. Okay. You two both look very nervous or very on edge. Not or... nervous, just. You know, we haven't done anything, like, like, we haven't done anything yet, right? Like, we're not wanted here or anything, are you? I just not know at that. that. You think I, I could mean, be? Wanted? Hmm. Not going to answer that on the grounds that... I'm just not going to answer that. It would be unprofessional. Let's go. Okay. All right, so what are you looking focused. for? Brooks. Uh, just keeping an eye out to see... Unattended carts. <laughs> Gen generally, if there are carts within the town, if there seems to be like any privately owned carts, if there is like a cart hire place, anything like that. Um, you kind of, uh, as you look, you can see the stables by the southern gate, the gate that you passed through on the way in. Uh, there are a bunch of carts kind of like parked near it, which you assume are for hire, because that's kind of, uh... It's a stable, so you assume you could go there to hire both carts and horses. Um... Other than that, you do see some carts, like, parked near houses, which you assume probably carts belonging to whoever lives in said house that the cart is standing next to. Um... Yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> right, so we have two options, really. Number one is that we borrow a cart now, take it out of the village, the town, try and hide it somewhere, and then walk back and pick it up on our way out in the morning. Number two is that we keep knowledge of where these things are, wake everyone up before breakfast, and we might be a bit short of rest and have to sleep in the cart, but we'll get out of town before everyone else is up and about. I assigned to Cass asking... Uh, to relay, will the cart even fare well in the jungle? It wasn't exactly easy going footpaths where we were. Uh, I'll sign back to her. That, uh, actually, no, I'll just say it. I'm pretty yeah. sure the cart is for um, the, the the area traveling across the terrain that isn't the jungle. To make it cart isn't, oh. cart isn't going to be very useful, but it's going to speed up. We might save a day, maybe, maybe two from here to Dharmouth, depending. Okay. But uh, that might be the difference between winning and not winning. Okay, well, I'll, 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 why does it I'll, look like we could stash it if we took it now? I feel like we're forgetting the horse part of the equation. Yeah, I, <laughs> right? I, Dutch, Dutch, I was going to say that. That's what makes it faster. I was going to say it. Right? Well, well, I, at the cart the place, at the cart place, there was also horses, yes? Yes, the stables. Yeah, yes. the stables. And oh. fucking uh, I, just, anyone... I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I'm. I was just like any yeah, any home that has so a cart so outside. We're like, talking about it. It's cart just like outside a the point. city, just to get there tomorrow morning and have no horses to fucking. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the house that has a cart probably has horses. I literally just wanted us to get there and just be like, we got the cart to move. We'll get on and be like, go. <laughs> this is so I think maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I was just so Either confused. one of us keeps the cart out of. And horses out of town tonight, or we get up, we very, we wake everyone up very early. We uh, dip out. I sign to Kess asking to translate. Um, if you're stealing it, you're on your own. I'm, I'm, I'll only help, I'll chip in gold to hire one. She's, um, she's very by the law, so. If we're going to steal it, Diane's not going to help us. But the point of money. fucking 
What's the point of being stealthy if you've never stolen anything? For hide and seek? That's more oh, my thing. I'll sign back. You'd think he would know. I'm sure he's had to slip out of many people's beds without being noticed. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're implying that you're stealthy because you've slipped out of many beds. Just like implying it's one use of said skill. I'll repeat that. Right. Well, um, I don't necessarily know if we can afford to buy a cart and two horses, so... Yeah, I agree. I'll, I'll sign back and say, should we tell him we might have a way, but he can't ask questions? Wait, what are you intending to do? Just sign back. H horses and cart covered by Lotus? Question mark. We could ask. We, we, we may have a solution to the problem, but we'll need to ask someone first. And you can't... And, and I point to to Brooks and nod like no. Uh, yeah, he, he can't, you can't know. Both we'll have some secret sort of benefactor that's... Are you trading favors for a horse and cat? Is that... <laughs> like, I I don't see any problem with it, as I'm sure you're aware, I just... What kind of favors? What kind of favors would you trade a horse react. and a cat for? I just, like, don't react and just blink and just keep okay. a straight right. face. <laughs> wait, uh, wait over here where the, the carts and the horses are, and we'll be right back. This reminds me of so many of my, uh, school years as a child. Right. <laughs> uh, for the purposes of this, like everyone... We can do this next session if no, we we'll want. We can quick. end it right we'll here. Quick. Well, uh, because that'll be Last a messy time. start, so I'd rather just, like, you know, you guys do this, okay, go okay. to bed, and then some more, the next week we'll start when everyone okay. wakes up from all that shit. Um, for the purposes of this, I want to definitely real quick. Oh, oh, me as well? Oh, Fuck hey. you guys. Yeah, me as well. I'm just gonna sit there the entire time fucking just sketching. Like, um, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna start sketching. I'm not gonna tell them what I sketched, because fuck oh you guys. Oh my god, could you deafen? <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm assuming you're going back to the, to the tavern? Yes. Okay. As you enter, this red tiefling lady is still uh, standing behind the bar, kind of just doing some cleaning. I'll just go up. Went out um, for a nice walk, ladies? Yes, actually, we were um, just about to ask for the special, as it pleases our lady. I see. It's good to see you. My name is Jolly. Nice to meet Jolly. you. What do they call you? Um, oh, yeah. I just signed back real names or code names? <laughs> Co I just code they names. They're one and the same. <laughs> oh, wait, she got, she, oh, she, oh, hey! I just said that she knows. Fuck know. it. Uh, fuck yeah. it. That's canon now that she knows sign language. Is her fuck name, it. so, by the way, Jolly, like J O L L Y? Is yeah. that what she said? Okay. Tifa okay. names are typically, you know, it's like it's like pride or, or yeah, pleasure, yeah. Jolly. It's kind of like. like just that. checking. Um, I'm Siren. And then. Well, Siren? I'm, I'm Pan. My name's Panther. Panther. Oh, yeah, you can sign. Yeah. So I signed Nice to meet you. What is it our fair lady could supply to you? We uh, have uh, maybe an odd request. Um, mm -hmm. We don't know if this is actually covered, but we need a horse and cart. Interesting. We well. Uh, I just signed back. Uh, like if not, uh, if not, uh, if well, not allowed, it is, it's um, fine. <laughs> we can give it back when we get it to the. Something I can I can help with. Um, just so happens that the stable boy has a bit of a crush on me, so I could. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't. I could uh, put out put in some funds, seeing as you members. Uh, I'll probably get a discount. Um, is it okay if I uh, let you know tomorrow morning? I'll uh, pop over there within a little bit. You know, have a little yeah. talk. He'll probably want to you know, drink some wine or whatever. But mm -hmm. uh, I think I'll be able sure. to help you out. Just a cart um, and one horse. I think so. How many horses yeah. pull a cart? <laughs> One, two. Well, it depends. The, the, you entered, there were six of you, so I'd probably need yeah. a, a bit, slightly bigger cart. I'd probably say two horses for a yeah. comfortable trip. Uh, mm -hmm. That's just me. Um, what I could do is... Um, I'll arrange this. Um, it'll probably be a purchase rather than a hire. Mm -hmm. But... I'll be able to provide you with this on the condition... 
Do you intend on being back in Southwold at any point in time? Yeah. Um, yeah our friends, I'm just saying everything now because now that she knows sign language, I'm just assuming. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, We know two of our party said they had business here, so we'll likely be back. Okay. How about I cover the entire cost? But next time you're in town, I may have a little contract for you that I could use my help, some help with. You know, Oops. Crimson Lotus and all that. It's very generous. Yep. Well, you say that now. Just wait until you know what, <laughs> learn what the contract is. But sure. Hot and the. There is this hand. mosquito, and I'm going crazy. I see keep oh, no. it <laughs> fly in front of my face, and I just want it to die, but it doesn't. <laughs> um, so, we have an agreement. Mm -hmm. I covered the costs to purchase a cart and two horses for you, big enough to transport your entire group. In exchange, next time you're in Southwold for a longer period of time, you do me a little favor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then I also will just ask, um, is not to push our luck, but any chance it could stock up on a little more poison? Of course. Just, just the need? one vial. Just the one vial is fine. No, sorry, what was that? Just like some... Uh, just healing potion or...? Oh no, poison. Basic oh, poison. poison. Oh, right. So yeah, yeah. Of course, and she, uh... She, like... It's pretty cool the way this this, this tavern is pretty new compared to the other taverns yeah. uh, that this was in. And she, like, pulls a wine bottle out of the rack. <gasps> but instead of it in, completely pulling out, it, like, stops. And you hear it a click. Like a lever. You hear it click, and like this entire like wall of with a wine rack. Just oh yeah, let's go. It's open, and there's That's just so a storage cool. room behind it with a bunch of supplies from, from crossbow bolts to potions to, to to poison, all kinds of traveling supplies. Uh, just one vial of poison. Yeah. Uh, what? yeah. I'll take some rations as well if you got them. Of course, of course. How many would you like? Ten. Ten, of course. Yeah. Uh, hands you ten rations, hands you a vial of poison, and closes the the like hidden door again as she, as she's done in that room. Okay. Um, your friends aren't part of this. Uh... No, no, we haven't known them long enough to even Very think good. about it. Okay. Fair enough. Are they not going to ask questions when you tomorrow morning suddenly have a horse and uh, two horses and a cart provided by you? To you? Probably, but she can't talk, and I'm very good at evading the truth. Besides, one of them very already cool. thinks we're trading sexual favors for these yeah. items. Well, you know, she and pointing at uh, Kes, pretty could believe you. I feel like you would be more of an acquired taste. I don't mean any offense, right? Like... I no, I just not in agreement. Right. Anyway, um, it was a pleasure meeting you, Siren, um, uh, Panther, right? Yes. Uh, from here on out, uh, you could call me, you know, if you if you catch me, you know, you could, you could call me Jolly in public, but if we're talking about Lotus business, uh, I go by the dragon. Ooh. Um, I'll have your uh, horses and cart ready by the mo by, by the morning. Suggest you uh, get some sleep now, as it seems that you have quite the adventure ahead of you if you require transportation. And um, as she kind of looks at the window, I think your friend is going a little crazy. He keeps bobbing his head back and forth, and he's, <laughs> I think he's losing it, so you might want to go fetch him and get some sleep. Yeah, we're, we're going to go get him. Yeah. Right. Very good. Good night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my god. I just typed it in the Twitch chat as well. Just to At least I'm not last. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean it's pretty close. I pretty could fucking, go. I, I, I saw, button. I just couldn't find the button. <laughs> yeah, same. I was just like, what? which one is it? Oh! <laughs> Worst part, I could have just used my stream deck. It was basically right. it just connects. So, <laughs> we go you, back uh, outside, I guess. We go back outside find... to fetch yeah. Brooks. Brooks. What's that there sketching? Yeah. All right, Wait, so I'll leave that to Kess. I, I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're back. Woke up and wave at me. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of look at what you're sketching. Actually, wait. Oh, I close oh, the book oh, as she it. approaches. Damn it. 
No, unless, my, unless we, Dugan's trying to stealth. We on this, and I had an idea, but it's too late now. Too late. Wait. I mean, if I'm Dugan's like, trying to stealth. Okay, just comment of stealth. I'm like, maybe we should try to sneak up and just go, and then just do like the boo, but without noise, but just sneak up behind him and just like hands on shoulders, but nah. Pull us out, but not actually like touching <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> it's too late. I fucked did it. Oh, oh well. Uh, the horse and cart is sorted. We'll have two horses and a cart. I want to ask. Do I'm you? I'm going to respect. Yes, very much, but. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure if you want to talk about it, you're telling me I'm going to respect your privacy. That's very nice of you. All right. Um, with that, uh, let's just say that you go to bed because it is getting late. I'm assuming there's nothing no. else you want to do really before nightfall. Uh, nope. Unless Brooks decides to just fuck piss me off, or Ethan decides to piss me off and says Brooks wants to do a, th a million things. Oh, I've, when have I done that? Like <laughs> every, I feel like every like month or so, there's just one session where you piss me off for few, like a lot, and then. Uh, well, this is going on. I'm going to be talking. I'm so to sorry that I want to do things in character and role play. The first thing that happened was the ham sandwich, and ever since then, I've just been so upset with you every time. <laughs> the ham sandwich was pure content. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was content. All right. Anyway, uh, so. Oh my God! You all I just have thought of sleep. a point reward. The I go to bed morning, sober. Wake up. It is now the, the 18th time, yeah. of Umis. As you wake up, the 18th. Yeah. And we'll pick this up next week. Next Sunday. Hey. Yeah. Question. Since what? I won't be here. Are we level three next week? No. Oh, cringe. <laughs> cringe. Oh, that's fine. We, we, I, there's something I want to do when we turn level three. And, we haven't you know, killed any, like, named. Only four daddy. sessions in, boys. Come on. Yeah, come on. We won't. Fuck out. Fuck, man. Remember, Remember Give me Dutch bug. said Dutch said last session one of his biggest regrets was we got too powerful too quickly. So okay, okay yeah, third level. Like, yeah, we're really we fucking annihilating I, I, the I, wall. I think third out level. everyone so could get to the one that doing begs for third level. I need third level more than anyone else. You're only four sessions in. I don't see a Do milestone you know yet. <laughs> Turn in fucking uh, milestone. Maybe. We all made friends. Right. Turn we're gonna go all the way to Aaron. We're gonna travel two weeks for a last. We could be like two quests. Damn it. Where's my level up? You know right. what? I would be okay if Soko and only Soko got level three. Where's my addictive gameplay loop? <laughs> Genuinely, okay. though. I need level up loop? so I get my dopamine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want my good brain juice. You'll level my serotonin. Actually, don't worry. A <laughs> hundred sessions I in, and we're like, play so any cool, cool alcohol I can buy. That's a secret. I make you all like make like decide on subclasses, and you never get to level three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good time. Really I'm really a Quewick. I get my subquest from level. Oh, or like oh, every oh, every level up is like a weird individual person story shoot where they multi-class, and we all end up like <laughs> level one in like six different classes. Oh, dude. oh my. God. All right. Before we leave off uh, after the break, Malaysia, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you, uh, Laura Koiba Nekto. Thanks for the resubs the two months each of you you guys are dope um thanks for watching we'll be live again tomorrow for Baldur's gate me ethan and uh dookie boy uh, i gotta pee Thursday, like crazy we'll have dungeon <laughs> discourse and i had the idea during the break mm. would the monk duo be dying to be on discourse be this dying. week we dying uh, um i think so i know on okay. that thursday I need to ask whether we're time. Okay, no need my... to say yes now, but that's what there's an idea that popped up. Like, oh, let's do the Sooner Monk duo. I'm a, uh, I'm whatever. a, I'm a potential yes. Okay, potential so we'll, 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 we'll just say that Dungeon Discourse um, this there week. There will be a Dungeon Discourse. Dungeon Discourse this week. Uh, Ethan and Laura asterisk, and uh, <laughs> you know, subject to change, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. But keep an eye on the Twitter. Activities will be on... up on the YouTube on Tuesday. Yes. Uh, uh, are you putting the? Um... Uh, wait, this VOD goes up Wednesday. Yeah, this one goes up on Wednesday. Yeah. Gay Stivities Tuesday. Gay yeah. Tuesday. And then Tuesday is the same day we do reruns of Dungeons Select. Yeah, true, 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 true. Uh, the, the rerun, dude. The reruns, bro, I need to, like, set a fucking reminder for myself because I keep fucking forgetting. And then last week I remembered and then fucking Twitch was giving me shit for trying to run a rerun. And, like, it was started late. Man. The rerun We're just gonna start DMing you on Tuesday. We can try and remind but, you when um, we remember as well. And I think also somewhere this month, I think towards the end of September, we're finishing. We're finally finishing the the the, the Tasha's kiss one shot. Yeah, Ooh. at the end of September. Yeah. With uh, we're also... James, the DM. So that's gonna be fun. That's yeah. probably gonna. I think that's gonna coincide with the um, anniversary of DS, isn't it? Oh shit! Close. It might be. Yeah, it's gonna be very close. Probably gonna be the next 
like D and D closest D and D to it. I think. Are we gonna have a? Are we gonna have a party together for the anniversary? Yeah, if it's on the twenty fifth, it's literally the closest one to it. We'll all get drunk and play party games. Um, so yeah, <laughs> like yeah, three year anniversary of Dungeon yeah. Stags also coming this month, guys, dude. So three years. Three years. Huge. Three years. Nah, yeah. Normally at this point. Um, no Soko here we next week. Up. Say bye to Soko. Bye forever. Bye forever, Soko. Two weeks in a row. Soko will be gone for the next two sessions, up. which is unfortunate. <laughs> But, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna level, we're level up while he's thing, not here. You won't level them until I'm back. I, I can't. It's milestone don't... leveling. You level at the end so, of the yes, story okay, arc. So yes, okay, cool. Grr. Um, yeah, but we did go. Uh, and imagine, ta maybe... imagine acting like getting to level isn't a fucking story arc. <laughs> 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 right. We got in and out with the show. The support tonight was has been fucking real. A lot of subs and a good handful of follows and a lot of raids too. You guys are awesome. Love you. Appreciate you. Um. See you next Sunday for session five. See you before then for the variety of other shows that we do throughout the week. Holy shit. We're um, I'm gonna go content. piss my pants. We're literally a fucking content machine, dude. Like, we're we're just, just like making content. Like, Thanks for watching, everybody. Shit. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. And um, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.